We're here with more Persona 4 Golden. Let me just double check what the hell we're doing here. Um, I should start. I should start thinking out who the hell I'm bringing to the next dungeon. I think I have a team. Yeah, I think I have team. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Pretty sure I have a team in mind. All right, social links. Where are we at? What are we doing here? Who needs what? Rize. She's almost there. Naoto. Saki's brother started hanging out with Naoki last time. I remember that. And the nurse. Don't really care too much about Eri. She's just kind of annoying. <laughs> Not more annoying than the goddamn student. I want to hang out with I more too. Hmm. Marie's taken care of. So it's just... Wait. Yeah, Kanji's taken care of too. Shit, so it's just Rije and Naoto left, really. For the team. We don't have to worry too much about Teddy. Okay. Um... I got 300... Hmm. 300,000. I feel like I should have more money than that. And it's evening. Today is the 15th of November. And I think my stats are complete. Yeah, okay. Alright. We hang out with the fox, too, if I remember correctly. I gotta... I gotta re I just hit my microphone. I gotta re-familiarize myself with all this bullshit. Oh, Nanako and Dojima are taken care of, too. Alright. Cool, cool. So what the hell am I doing? I think we're just waiting to advance the story, right? I think that's what happened last time. We fought Namatame. Yeah, we fought Namatame. And then after that, just a bunch of... A bunch of just daily life. Daily living. Fancy living. Here we come. Did I head to the Velvet Room yet? For Marie? For her poems? I did. I did. Okay. And Compendium, how you looking? You're at 28%. Jesus. How am I looking with my personas right now, actually? Um... That's not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Um, I think I use Harati? Or at least I was using? My bad, Hariti? I don't know how to fucking pronounce these names. Arrow Rain, Mind Charge, Bufudan, Sarakaram, Invigorate, Hagidai, Megiddo, and Meteor Rahan. Hmm. Weak to electricity. Okay, that's not... It's not bad. I gotta... I gotta remember if I was in the right mind or not last time I played those. Have lovers. Priestess is one that I'm using. Devil, star, honestly don't need it, but I have it for some reason. Moon, need. Temperance, need. Temperance? No, tower is what I need. I don't really need temperance because I'm not giving a fuck about Aerie right now. I think I picked up uh, Hermit right here because it was just there. Fortuna, Nauto, Emperor, no longer need it. Strength, need. Hanged, need. All right. Okay. And I don't need one for death. I think we came across Hisano last time. Old ass lady just walking up to you in the middle of the night. In a dark hallway. I am death. <laughs> like, Jesus. <laughs> Start looking over my shoulder from now on. We can hang out with I. Honestly. Might as well hang out with I, right? There's no reason hanging out with Yosuke. Actually, Yosuke can give us an item. Eh, but whatever. Did I? I need to head to the shop and sell my shit if I didn't do that. Right now, I'm kind of in prep mode a little bit. What are you doing? No, oh, it's you. What are you doing here? I seems bored. Since you have Allure, Allure, I don't even fucking know how to say it. Allure? Allure, Allure, Allure whatever. Sure, why not? Mm. Guess I guess I can hang out with you. Oh, now I remember. We hung out with I last time and she was being all freaky. She's like, why don't I dress you up in a... Why don't we just dress you up and take a stroll around the town? You and I got better acquainted over small talk. Okay, well... Huh? Hmm, what time is it? What? That can't be right. Well, it's definitely time to go. Before I go, I brought a little something for you. For me? Poor Chad. Caramel drop. Caramel, caramel. 
I, f I think there's a third way to say it, but I forget. <laughs> I heard it's been selling well. Hopefully, well, it better. I mean, caramel is delicious. Yeah, caramel. Wait. Caramel, caramel. I'm confusing myself now. Shit. As thanks for that, you can walk me home. Good night. Thanks for candy. I gotta walk her home now. What about my night? Well, I'm not doing anything. I'm lonely. Rize, where are you? Last time I remember, I think you were avoiding me. Hi, Naoki. Do you have some free time? Maybe. If Rize doesn't fucking stand me up again. Rize's not here, right? She's just not here. She's just gone. She just left for the month. I don't know why. She just peaced out. Rize, this is why, this is why, like, how are you, how are you supposed to be in the race for best waifu of this game when you just don't want to be around me? <laughs> like, like what? And I think Naoto wasn't ready to progress last time, right? Oh, you sign, oh shit. I just realized I'm not wearing my glasses. Gotta put my glasses on. I was like, why does everything look a little less clear than last time? Oh yeah, I'm not wearing my glasses. I can't see without my glasses. I hope they allow Nanako-chan to have visitors soon. Of course, there's nothing we can do about that. Well, if you don't mind, I'm free today. Okay. You feel you could become closer. Oh, but you're not ready to advance. Alright, well then, next time then. It's not my fault, Naoto. Don't... The hell are you sad for? You don't want to... You don't want to advance. You're not trying to level up out here. I should hang out with I more. But Naoki's cool, so... Naoki's cool. You can relate with Naoki. Everyone can relate with Naoki. Right? Oh, baby, I need you. Hi, Marie. Bye, Marie. Oh, shit. Daidara's open. Gotta remember to, uh, buy some shit. Not buy some shit. Sell some shit. Yeah, look at all this I got. How much am I gonna get for it? Nothing? Okay, total will come to 30,000? Alright. You do that to- Oh, he only made one, one item from that? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'll just leave now. And I think last time I figured out we can, uh, send in stickers. Yeah. Hunt a full combo. You know what? Let's go for the combo. I, I can use some items, actually. I can use items. Also, on top of that... Wait, what? Oh, this is marked you. My bad. We received some new items. Cool. Maka Leaf, which does what? Restores for- oh yeah. Bomb of Life, Anabolic Gel. I just want some Go-Homes. You have Go-Homes, right? Yes, I would like to take... 10? 10 Go-Homes? I think that's a safe number. Uh, Vanish Balls. Maybe 5. Just in case shit gets too crazy. Um, deals 50 point of Fire. Firecracker, Fire. Tesla coil, lightning, lightning, wind, wind, ice, ice, fire. Okay. Cures dizzy panic. Poison. Revival beads. I only have one. 200 to all allies. 100. 400. Never tell anybody. You keep this a secret between us, okay? Never told anybody nothing. I never bought none of that. I ain't buying no ranky dinky plants. I'm clean. What the hell are you doing out here? Ah, uh, Yuku, may I help you? Yeah. What about Kanji? This isn't gonna put me into- You're not gonna make me do anything, right? Oh, he isn't home yet. Oh yes, I was thinking about giving this to my boy. What do you think? 
Seems to be a work shirt that says Tetsumi Textiles on the back. I'm sure he'd be embarrassed to get it from me, so won't you give it to him instead? Oh! I never actually got these before. Huh. Okay. You know what? Might as well go buy some costumes, alright? Might as well. I mean, should really be saving the money for, uh, you know, actual things we need, but... I mean, come on. Come on, gotta have a little bit of fun, right? So how much are these fucking outfits again? Alright, I'd like to introduce you to the new arrival. Hard boil look. Oh shit, that's for me. <laughs> the no-nonsense air of a veteran detective will surely melt the hearts of even the most hardened criminals. The stylist to die for. I'm I'm Reiko Osa? Okay. Charismatic Fastinisa. Alright. Neo Featherman set. Oh god, that's a lot. Hard boil look. That's for you only. And then the rest of the set is for everyone else. Cool trunks. I think the only things you I think if it's in a set, you don't have to buy it separately for the characters. Right? But if it's, you know, just the uniform itself, like this. Cleaning uniform, cool trunks. I think that's character specific. Butler set. Festival set. Special summer festivals, clothes, arm perfect set. Okay. Huh. I think more unlock the more you buy and the more you progress through the game. Trim bikini. Dangerous Bree. What the fuck is dangerous Bree? Oh. Oh. I know. Oh, it's his speedo. <laughs> it's his speedo. Alright. Sailor trunks for Teddy. How come my trunks aren't worth shit? Huh? What the hell is that about? Yosuke's trunks aren't worth shit either. Oh, wait a minute. Kanji's briefs are worth everything. <laughs> Sailor trunks for Teddy. Huh. Gotta pay extra for the girls' outfits. <laughs> Alright, may maybe, uh... Butler set, maybe? Butler set. Butler set. Butler set, right? Because agent set is kind of just... I mean, they're all in, like, tux. And it's like, sure, whatever. Butler set, you get a... You know, you get some... You get, you get maid's outfits with it. Yeah, it's only... I'll, I'll buy some. Do you want to have everyone equip these clothes? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Return to Inaba. We're gonna go hang out with Naoki. Why? Because I want to. And you can't stop me. To the promise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's catchy. It gets in your head. You can't stop it. There's no stopping it. Oh, hi. Hey, Naoki. Seems to have some free time. Since you have Ikusa, Persona of the Hangman. Alright, yes. Sure, it's okay. Naoki looks a bit happier. Do you feel like getting some Chinese food? Maybe. Depends. I haven't had Chinese food in a while. If I were to get Chinese food right now, what the hell would I buy? Naoki-kun. Are you coming back from school? You shouldn't be wasting time here. Don't you think your parents are worried with you wandering about just like your sister did? Wow. That's just uncalled for. You're not helping out at the store. I hear your father's having a hard time. Hmm. Don't hoof me! I know it's tough with what happened to your sister, but in times like these, a family has to unite and help each other out, right? Look, I'm just trying to help you and your family out. 
That attitude isn't very nice. Don't tell me how to grieve, bitch. What? Naoki looks distressed. Hey. Flatter the lady. Talk back to the lady. Keep quiet. Mm. Flatter. How how would flatter go in a situation like this? Like, oh my lady, you're so beautiful. Back the fuck off, alright? It's okay. Naoki looks troubled, but looks slightly happier. I'll be going now. Naoki, keep your chin up. And think about your family. Think about your family, the fuck? Sorry. I'm sorry. It's a little awkward to be around me, huh? Ah, let's forget about it. It's fine. Yeah. That's a good idea. Actually, I'm kind of getting used to it by now. Naoki shrugs. If you weren't here, I would have been in a, in a predicament. Since my family runs a business here, we have to stay on good terms with the neighbors, so I can't yell at them. Thank you. You empathize with Naoki's distress. You feel that your relationship with Naoki has grown still deeper. Still deeper. Has grown still deeper. I, I do not like the wording of that. So random. <laughs> not as random as fucking, uh... I was about to say High School of the Dead. What is that shit called we were playing? Quartz Party. Why did I forget the name of Quartz Party? You know, where they were just, like, eroticized fucking, like, gore and shit. Someone had a fetish when they were writing that shit. For Corpse Party. It was weird. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go home now. We'll eat together next time. Damn lady, you fucked I'll up his appetite. Again. You don't play with man's appetite like that. <clears throat> Huh? You hear someone at the front door. Your order from the show has arrived. Nice shoes. In red battle suit. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. Who's wearing this battle suit? Please don't tell me that battle suit is what I think it is. Oh, no, never mind. I'm wearing a battle suit. I have... Wait, what? Battle suit. Passionate battle suit uniform for men reduces physical, physical damage by 20. Uh... You know what? Who's gonna wear it? Fucking Teddy's gonna wear it, because he was getting his ass beat last time. Like, really badly. So he just needs that. I would like to give it to Yosuke, but Yosuke was pretty fine. Yosuke was dodging a bunch of shit. Invincible Mini. Can I see what the hell that, that even is? Sorry, I just want to see... Shockingly durable despite appearances. Oh, uh, well, I don't even know what the hell that means, but whatever. It said invincible, right? Or invisible. I wasn't paying attention, really. Invincible. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. Oh, it's a Wednesday. Well. Hold up. Make sure I equip. Equip? Why'd I say it like that? Make sure I equip. Chase nice shoes. Oh, I have two of these. Why do I have two of them? I might have got one in a chest or something. In one of the dungeons. Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe. Not sure. Who the hell's calling me? You received the text message. It's from Rize. Rize, I'm not gonna watch a movie with you when you've been avoiding me for the past month. Roman paid holiday. It just came out. I love the original, so I was really looking forward forward the forward to this remake. So I'm inviting you to invite me on a date. What? It don't work that way, Rize. What the hell? <laughs> I'm giving you an <laughs> It's like that uh it's like that one screenshot from like a hentai or whatever. You were cordially invited to fuck my ass. <laughs> that one. Let's see. Weather forecast okay. Thought the shopping channel would be on. I guess that's only on like what Fridays or Saturdays? Something like that. Something like that. 
to the shopping district. Can I work tonight? Part-time job, hospital janitor. Yes, I can. Or I can hang out with Nato. Nato. Senpai. I hadn't expect to see you at this hour. I came to check the bookstore, but it seems a little too late. You want to stay here and catch up for a while? Hell yeah. Excuse me. You live with Dojima-san, correct? Well, not at the moment. He's an interesting man. My first impression of him was your typical hard-boiled detective. But when the police officials and I were in disagreement about their methods, he was the only one to put his word in for me. In the end, my advice was still ignored, but I won't forget that he tried. He's a good man. He cares about the truth. I'll tell him you said that. Now I'll keep it to myself. He cares about the truth, Nato. Yes. Yes, he's a rarity amongst the police. There was no incentive for him to help me either. I believe he's making a serious effort to solve this case. His determination was easy to see. <laughs> you and he are indeed quite similar. Not just smiling. The Shiragane family has close ties to the police, but the relationships is somewhat overshadowed by conflicting interests. That's why it's helpful to have detectives like Dojima-san around. Then again, in his case. You enjoyed your idle chat with Nato. You feel the relationship is going to grow stronger. It could become stronger. Oh. Oh, I should be getting back. I didn't mean to keep you here for so long. I have a gift for you. You should uh what? Oh, you should have it if you're ever feeling hungry. Stuttered Please right accept there. it. Carolee mate. Well then, let's go home. Good night. We saw Nato off and then went home. Now we can hang out with Nato. You overheard students talking. Talking shit. About you. Wow. Look at these clouds. I heard that weather's gonna be getting worse starting tomorrow. Don't tell me the fog's gonna come back. Give me a break. One of these days, I'm gonna get hurt in the dark on my way home from cram school. Why don't I start walking you home tomorrow, senpai? Smooth. Smooth. That guy out there trying to get something. I <sighs> want you all to know, I'm not motivated to do anything right now. You and me both. As soon as you discover something wrong, the sorrow's just gonna stick with you. Really, don't rush into marriage. Not that young people like you would understand until after you've made that mistake. <sighs> I just want a beer. Ah, uh, yes, speaking of marriage and beer, alcohol has to do with the roots of the word bridal. Do you know how, hanamoto -kun? What? Why me? Hey, wait. What was the question? Is that even in the textbook? The roots of bridal. What? Uh... Bride ale? Sake wine? I feel like it's bride wine. Bride ale? Bride ale. Bridal, bride, and ale. Can't be sake. Can't be sake. Bride ale. Bride wine. I'm actually stumped on this one. I don't I don't know. My mind is like it's bright ale. Choose bright ale. But my heart it's like it's bright wine. You know it is. I'll go with my first guess. Bright wine? No, it comes from bright Fuck! The one time I don't go with my second guess. It seems this came out because in England ale was drunk wait what? Ale was drunk during festivals and merry gatherings. Ill was drunk. Okay, sorry. Pack past tense of drink. Nowadays, when I hear the word drunk, you just think of someone falling over. You can't get through a marriage without a drink or two. Anyways, what does this have to do with math? Thanks, though. I wasn't listening at all. You embarrassed Yosuke. He embarrassed himself. Should apologize to him. Yosuke, go fuck yourself. I ain't got time for your bullshit. I ain't got time for this. Good day. Good day. Um, do you got any plans after school? I'd like you to come with me. Will you spend the day with Nato? Maybe. Oh. Oh. You ready to have plans? Hmm. It's difficult to get an appointment with you. Please come speak with me when you do have some time. 
Rize, where are you? Rize? Naoki. Oh, you, son. There's something I want to talk to you about, so you got some time to talk later? I'll probably be around the liquor store. Just me there, if you have some time to talk. Hmm. Where the fuck? Rize. 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 I'm losing my mind and my patience. Rize. Rizette. Where the fuck? Where does she go? She doesn't exist anymore. Like, am I crazy? I can't be. Like, does she have a different location? Or something that I'm just not aware of? Like, what the fuck? You know what? I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. She's never around. Like, ever. And it's kind of stupid, honestly. It bothers me a bit. Let's see. Persona 4. What the hell is Rizé's schedule? You can hang out with Rize Kujikawa on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. She's not available on rainy days. Rize can be found in the classroom building first floor on weekdays, while on holidays and weekends she hangs out in the south. What? The south shop? Yeah, okay, I knew that, but where the fuck does she go? She, like, she, she's she been gone for like a week and a half. <laughs> like, oh uh, god. Weekends in front of Mother Q, first floor of the school. Right. Let's see. Did you try a classroom building? Blah blah blah. He's in the hallways. Cause it's close to exams when he no. Is this like this has to be like a bug or something? Cause she's she's just gone. Like, actually, like, just fucking in the wind. Like, I don't know what happened to Rize. She just doesn't show up anymore. I feel like the game might be a little busted. <laughs> she doesn't show up anymore. It's pretty weird. Senpai? I hope they allowed Nanako to have... Okay, yeah. Hang out with me, Nanta. Yes, please. Tim got a flip plane. Nanta seems to be thinking about something. To tell you the truth, I haven't been in contact with Grandpa lately. I wanted to confirm the items I assumed the Phantom Thief stole. Our secretary, Yakushiji. Yakushiji? Yeah. Yakushiji-san passed along a message saying he went to visit an, an alien- ailing? Oh, ailing friend in America. Yeah, like sick friend. Okay. Since then, I haven't been able to reach either Grandpa or Yakushiji-san's cell phones. Well, there's no point in worrying about them now. I'm sure they'll be fine. On to business. I received a new challenge in the mail today. The card reads as follows. Jury to not rest or route- or route, wait, what? Or root, route, route. Without the E, I guess. Or fable, minus 40, minus four. The sentence that's written is gibberish. Is this part of the riddle? And this minus 40, minus four. On its own, it means nothing. Perhaps the minus part is important? Uh, maybe it's a math problem? Subtract 40 and four? Check the other cards again? Hmm. I don't know, subtract 40 and 4, I guess. Huh? Subtract 40 
Ah, subtract 40 from the sentence. Natha's eyes lit up. Jury to not rest, or I never got this fucking riddle, honestly. I, like, even when Natha explains it to me, I'm like, what? Jury to not rest, or route for fable. From there, you subtract 40 and 4. What? <laughs> subtract 40 and 4. I get, I get where the letters are coming from, right? I do. I just notice the unnatural comma in the phrase. It corresponds to the two numbers. So trap the letters in 40 from the first part and then ones in four from the second. What? <laughs> so track the letters from 40, from the word 40. Okay, from the first part and then the ones in four from the second. I'm sorry, oh shit, I almost pressed that. The comma, oh, it is a comma. I didn't even see that, because I'm crazy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, all right. It makes sense, but still, it's kind of, it's kind of a weird about round way to do that. You get Juna's table. Yeah, what remains is Juna's table. Juna's table. Let's go. Now that I actually sat down and like looked at it and visualized it, I'm like, what the fuck? It's still stupid to so trap 40 and four. Juna's food court. There was something taped to the underside of the table. I knew it was here. Nato produces a large ballpoint pen. This is another of the seven detective tools I made. You can use it as a normal pen, but it also has a pen light and a miniature telescope. Damn, really? I'm not sure I want to stick my eye in something that can pop out and poke it out, you know what I mean? I thought I had lost this. I didn't think Grandpa still had it. <laughs> hmm. Neither my grandpa nor myself can stand to throw things away. When this pen was still mine, I was just a child, dreaming of becoming a detective. But being a man or a woman, I never thought about it. The lack of peers to compare myself to might have contributed to that. I had no friends. I was quite the outsider then, too. But... Why is that? Compared to the time I spend utterly alone, I worry more now that I'm with you and the others. I feel that I'm undergoing a change. Don't be afraid, Naoto. Embrace it. I see. I'm afraid, you say. I see. <laughs> Naoto smiling weakly. The need to change, and the desire to remain the same. They're mixed together, and it scares me. Nato looks smaller than ever before. That, what? She looks smaller than ever before. I mean, I get it. It's kind of harsh though, <laughs> right? Uh, that she would show you this side of her must be a sign that, must be a sign that she has opened her heart to you. Rank 7. The Nata Shurigane Social Link has reached level 7. Nata's determination battle has been enhanced. She will now die for you. Yusan, have you ever felt like that before? <laughs> I want to hear about you. I'll see you again. She chatted idly with Nato, then went home. See you later, Nato G. You can work together as a tutor. Or oh, work together as a tutor? What the hell? You can work as a tutor. Work together as a tutor. What the fuck? Take that punk ass boy under your tutelage. Tutelage is a fun word to say. See, now that I say it, you're thinking in your head and you're gonna say it out loud too. Tutelage. Tutelage. 
Rize! What happened? Where the hell have you been? Hey! Don't you hate Senpai me? We run into each other a lot. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> Maybe you're just coming here to see me. Rize's bored. If you're bored, then go to school. Really? Yeah, I got to spend time with you. Maybe, maybe she's just not showing up because the game doesn't want me to be overpowered, <laughs> right? Maybe that's the reason? She just stopped showing up. Enjoy your idle chat with Rize. Feel like you're gonna grow stronger. Yeah, okay. Ah, too bad. It's getting late. Too bad, I want to stay here and talk more. If you wanted to talk more, then you would hang out with me, but you don't. But at least I can give you this before it's time to say goodbye. I want you to have it, senpai. Medicine, thank you. I hope it helps, even a little bit. Alright, Senpai, good night. I've been waiting to give you this. Good night, senpai. Some cough drops. Actually, that's what Yosuke gives you, right? He gives you a fucking cough drop. What an asshole. Unless he was just munching off a bag of cough drops. I do that from time to time because I'm crazy. What's in what's in cough drops? It's it's methanol? Right? Met methanol or something like that? Can you get addicted to that? Is that addictive? I hope it's not. <laughs> I mean, I'm not addicted to cough drops or anything, but still, it's like... I don't... I don't want to have that possibility. You know, sometimes cough drops just taste good. But it's not like I'm craving them. I got coffee candy to hold me over. Um... It's raining, we hung out with the fox. There's no reason to to really uh do the rainy beef bowl challenge. What else can you do on a rainy day in this goddamn game? Not much, I don't think. Not much. Uh huh. Head to the beach. Actually, you know what? Return to Inaba real quick. I was gonna like take a swim or gaze at the sea or something, but I'm actually interested to know what the hell does Rize get if we go to the movies with her? Because if you go to the movies with with uh, the people who want to see the movies with you, right? Then um then they get, like, an ability. I'm not sure if it's randomized or anything, but I'm not sure what Rize gets, because she doesn't fight. Come on, give me the fucking Jack Frost. Damn it! Jack Frost off. Jack Frost off. Jack Frost off. Why does the universe hate me? Give me the doll, damn it. <sighs> Give up for the day. Fuck off. Alright. Invite a friend to the movies. Rize, get your ass out here. I'm actually curious to know what you get for watching oh, the movie. Hey, senpai. What's up? Wanna ask me out? Uh, oh, you really do wanna ask me out? The movies? Of course I'll go. Oops. I'll be looking for you in the front of the theater. See you later. There's the girl who's been Sorry avoiding to me. Make you wait. Yeah. Sorry to make you wait, my ass. The movie is a solid foundation for a good date. Not really, right? If it's a bad movie, you probably won't enjoy the movie and not talk the whole entire time. You know? Especially if you don't have anything in common with someone, so it's like, movie and a date. It's like, if you got nothing to talk about, you're just gonna sit there and watch a bad movie. And then, it's like, did I say movie and a date? My bad. Movie and a dinner. And then after that, it's like, now you gotta go have dinner with the person that you barely got anything in common with? <laughs> it's like, Jesus. Movie's the f I think movie is a bad first date, honestly. <laughs> Although, it's kind of ordinary, I have to say. 
I really do. I really do feel like your girlfriend right now. Let's go, senpai. Yurize taking a movie. Uh, take take the movies together. Whatever the fuck it said. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Your heart fluttered watching an elegant spun love story unfold in the city of Rome. You enjoyed watching the movie with Rize. Something inside of Rize has changed. What do you get, Rize? Oh, she just gets a free level up? Awesome! Okay. Most of the time, remakes of great films never live up to the original. But this is one definitely worth it. This one was definitely worth it. I don't know. You ever seen Leonardo DiCaprio's, uh, DiCaprio's Romeo and Juliet? Where they use their guns as swords? <laughs> it's fucking dumb. <laughs> but it's still cool, though. And then when he's like yelling at uh at at uh what's his name? I want to say Talbot, but it's not. That's not how you pronounce his name. Ty Tybalt. Tybalt. When uh Romeo's yelling at Tybalt in that movie, and he's like, "Marcusio's dead. Either either me or you or both of us will go." <laughs> right? It took that man forever to win like a Oscar or Emmy or whatever the fuck it was, right? So that was Rome, huh? I love seeing European cities. They're so beautiful. Thanks for inviting me, senpai. That was fun! Give me a call whenever you want to go out again. You decide to go home. She just gets a free level up. That's all she gets. You can work as a janitor. I might just do that. You don't know me. You don't know what I'm about. You don't know what I do. You don't know how crazy I am. I'm a crazy person. I do crazy things. You have succubus? Yes, I do. That I do. You know about municipal? I can't say that word. Municipal? 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 Municipal, right? Whatever. You basically clean the dark, silent hallways. You thought you heard something from down the hall. You decided to pretend not to hear it and continue cleaning. And then you feel a knife in your back. Empty hospital room. Sayoko found you and brought you here. Yes? Sayoko isn't saying anything. Are we done here? <laughs> So, uh, we done here? Um, something happened? Stop! Stop it. Do you think you're some kind of counselor now? Excuse me. You brought me here. And you just didn't say anything. You better be sorry. <laughs> There's no point in taking it out on you. I just got a call from the hospital I last worked at. The patient I was assigned to died. He was still just a little child. Oh, Damn. He always said he wanted to go to school, but it looks like he'll never get the chance. You know, he proposed to me. I told him I'd think about it when he became an adult. But, but I forgot about him. When I transferred here, I was so busy, I had thought about him once in a while, but soon I just forgot. But he was fighting for his life that entire time. <laughs> what am I doing? Think about what you did. <laughs> That's kind of a bad thing to say in a situation like that. Think about what you did. You left them all alone. You should have been there. <laughs> Like, I get it's supposed to be like, think about what you did to help them, but it's like, it still feels kind of like, heartless. Right? Couldn't be helped. Don't blame yourself. I don't know what to choose here. I feel like none of these are a good choice. Don't blame yourself. I do. Of course I blame myself. Yeah, of course you do. Why did I transfer? When a patient gets better, I get left behind. But now I'm the one who left behind a patient. It should have been something I could have done. 
Sayaka seems to be tormenting herself. Watch her silently say something to her. I don't know. I feel like she lashes out at me every time I do anything. You know what? Figure it out your fucking self. <laughs> she stayed quiet and watched her. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad you came today. Sayoko looks at you needingly. You feel that Sayoko trusts you. Sometimes there's nothing you can do, you know? You just gotta sit there and be quiet. Let them have it out. I'll do it. It has to be something. Anything I can do. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Left Sayoko and went home. I didn't leave her, she left me. <laughs> hey, you got paid for sadness. Paid for sadness. For Chad. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up this morning. Classes have ended for today. Nanako conditioning is not getting better. I guess the only one I could hang out with today possibly is Naoto. Naoto! Naoto Chi! Aww. Naoto Chi doesn't want to hang out with me. No one wants to hang out with me. Well, I mean, Yumi. <sighs> is Yumi available? Maybe I should start hanging out. You can hang out with her on rainy days, right? No. She's not even available. God damn it. There's nothing I can do today, really. Alright, let's see. Uh. I can go watch a movie, I guess, again, but, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, sure, I guess, let's go watch a movie. Actually, let's see if Chie can learn anything. I was thinking of taking Yukiko with me, but I think Yukiko is fine. And Naoto should be fine, too. Uh, I want to see if Chie can learn anything from this. Probably not, but, you know. Hello? What's going on? The movie theater in Okina. Sure, sounds fun. I'll see you there. Hey, Chie. Oh, sorry for making you wait. Uh, um... I thought she was going to start having, like, all these voice lines. I'm like, what the fuck? So, the movie, it's like, kind of a date? <laughs> Let's go! I guess it is kind of a date, I wasn't really thinking about it. I forgot you're my girlfriend, technically. Your heart fluttered watching Elegant- oh yeah, 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 it's the same movie, it doesn't change until like a month later. You enjoyed watching the movie with Chie? Something inside Chie changed. What do you learn? How you just gonna level up? Hmm, various bonuses were granted by watching the movie. Magic, agility, luck. Okay. Woo! The sound in movies are so much more intense at the theater. Every time there's some kind of sudden noise, it made me jump out of my seat. In a, in a romantic film? <laughs> it was so pulse pounding. We gotta go again sometime! We decided to go home. Not even walked home with Chie or take Chie home. You decided to go home. You just said, yeah, whatever. Bye, bitch. You can be a tutor tonight. I can. I can do that. That's something I can do. Maybe I shall. You can't. You can't stop me from tutoring. Won't deep in just yet. I don't. I'm not even. I don't even have anything for the tower, do I? Should I even worry about it? How many... How many slots I got for Persona? Just one. And I don't need King Frost no more. Maybe I can make something with King Frost. Maybe. Not sure. Possibly. 
Bada bam 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 All right. Um, no. Let's see, temperance, emperor, aeon tower. Ooh, tower. Yes. Okay. Yeah. A bunch of personas I'm not even using makes this guy. Cool. Mamudun. Why not? Maruku Kaja, that'll be nice to have. Don't fuck it up, Igor. Alright. Where's Marteru? Mind charge? That's all I get. <laughs> and since I got spots, might as well just fill out the rest that I need for when I'm using it. So, let's see. Not using Magician, not using Hero or Lovers. Well, I am using Lovers, but I got one already. Chariot, we're good. Justice, good. Hermit, don't need. Fortune, good. Strength, good. Hanged, have. Death, good. No. Yeah, no, we don't need Death. My bad, I'm thinking of Devil. Temperance. Need one. Might hang out with the area, I'm not sure. Devil have one. Star just got one. I mean, not star. Tower just got one star. Don't honestly need. Moon have. Sun should have. What was the other one that I used to fuse that? It's a hermit. Emperor. Okay, yeah. Alright, yeah, no, we're good. I think that's all the personas we really need, honestly. For social link shit. How much money do I have after all that? Back to 300? That's cool. Tutoring! Boy, I will take you under my tutelage. You helped shoot study. You thoroughly explained the materials. Expression has gone up. You earned 10,000. Oh, damn, you rich, rich. Rain doesn't seem to be letting up. You have the day off from school today. You've done everything you could do. All you can do is wait for Nanako to recover. Realize you haven't bought shit. I need to buy shit. Must buy. Alright, let's see what you got for me. Angel skirt. Okay, oh my goodness, I can't believe it's wonderfulness and some diet food. Or a Soma, okay. Alright, and Amrita sodas, four of them. I mean, I already got a couple of Amritas, and I bought some maca leaves. I mean, a Soma's great and all, but I'll take the angel skirt, thank you very much. I was like, wait, I'm calling it Angel. It's Angle. Angle skirt, right? Angel. I can't read. I'm illiterate. Is there anything to do today? Well, it's raining, so... I mean, we can have Chie level up. So she can learn Power Charge. That'll be useful. But I'm not taking Chie with me in the next dungeon. I'm not. It's not happening. Not yet, anyways. Alright. Let me check the stats. Who's gonna level up from what now? Besides me. So Yosuke, at level 60, you get Masu. Power charge. Agidime for you, one more level up. You need five more levels. Materu Kondra, at, uh, at 60, that's two more levels. You got Haman Boost. I honestly don't know what the fuck I'm doing for Naoto. I don't think I'm using Hama or Mudo Boost for Naoto this playthrough. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep Agidon and Garudon and just upgrade Mudun and Hamon. And keep Tempest Slash. And just upgrade and invigorate, really. And of course, keep Mind Charge. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do for Nato. Alright, so. Guess I'm taking. Taking Yukiko so she can learn Agidon, right? I mean, she's not going to the... Well, I might as well have... Well, hold up. I need to check Teddy. I'm sorry. Teddy, what do you got for me? Sorry, Teddy. I wasn't even paying attention. And Rita. Hmm. That's two more levels. benefit most from it right now, honestly. Ah, eh, fuck it, I'll just take- I'll, I'll take Yukiko with me. Why not? Yukiko! Come watch a movie with me! Hello? How are you? I'm doing fine, Yukiko. Thanks for asking. A movie? That means you would be a- you would be a Okina, right? Yeah! I never heard her so fucking excited a day in my life. Super ironic that you have to sleep early on spring break for something tomorrow. <laughs> but stopping in to say hi. Well, thanks for dropping by. Me, myself, I sh should I be going to sleep early? Maybe. I got a meeting to go to tomorrow. I both work tomorrow and I got a fucking meeting to go to, like, early. For some goddamn reason. I don't even know why the fuck we're having a meeting at my work. Well, see ya. It's really nothing to have a meeting about. At least for me, since I work the night Sorry, shift. Were you waiting long? Thank you for inviting me today. Um. And this feels more serious than it did before. Somehow. L let's go. Yukiko, if you're if you're thinking about me doing the popcorn trick, it's not happening. So stop looking at me like that. Stop expecting. Expect nothing but disappointment. You and Yukiko take take in a movie together. Take in a movie. That's so weird to phrase it. You're taking a movie together. Like, what the? F okay. You take it in. Your heart fluttered. Same movie. I've watched the same movie in the past three days with three different girls. I'm a scumbag. <laughs> Hello, that's me, a scumbag. Something inside of Yukiko changed. And she gets Agudine for it. Yukiko's a little bit more unhinged than you remember. Exactly, right? I said it earlier in the playthrough. I'm like, if I'm if we're taking if we're taking the main four girls and we're throwing them on the horniness scale about how horny they are constantly. It's probably Yukiko. Even though Rize is the one who's constantly like trying to dick you down. <laughs> you know. <laughs> She's just constantly trying to, you know, get to it. But somehow, she somehow comes off as playful, like not serious. But when Yukiko says something, it's like, all right, hold up, hold up. Now we got to back up a bit. Don't touch me. Every time I thought something was hilarious, everyone else in the theater was totally silent. Oh, she was that person in the theater. The one person whose laugh you can hear out of everyone else's. We should go again sometime. Where you're like, Jesus, shut up. <laughs> I forgot a movie, I think it was, uh, I think I saw I Love You, Beth Cooper in the theaters. Now it had Hayden Pantieri in it, who was the voice actor for Kyrie in Kingdom Hearts, which is weird. I didn't know that until, like, probably, what, two years ago or something? But, like, whenever something would happen, there was just this, this one guy in the back of the theater, and you can pick out his laugh from a fucking lineup. Because this, like, overpowered everyone else, and you just hear him in the background just, <laughs> Like, Jesus, shut the fuck up, man! You started to go home. It got to the point where I'm pretty sure everyone in the theater was laughing at his I laugh know, rather the than weather. the actual jokes. Because everyone was just waiting for that guy to the open his fucking mouth. The weekend on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. It seems the fog will set in tonight. Sound like a human laugh track, exactly. 
It's like you're watching old school Scooby Doo. Or whatever the hell one of the ripoffs from Scooby Doo was. It's like 50 different Scooby Doo ripoffs. All by Hanna Barbera. <laughs> Your presents from Tanaka. Wait, what? Oh. Your present? My present? I ordered it. It's not a present. Oh, wait, no, it's the one I got for the stickers. Okay, so it is a present. It's kind of like a reward. Odd Morsels 5? Well, that was a waste of stickers. I thought I would get more than that. Odd Morsels. Who the fuck uses the Odd Morsels? You gotta be, like, really desperate to use that item in this fucking game. It's midnight. It's close to midnight. When it gets close to midnight, sometimes if I don't play Thriller, I play a, uh, I play a uh, Smooth Criminal. Just lose my mind for a bit. <laughs> don't pretend you're better than me. Don't pretend you haven't played Smooth Criminal. Put some headphones on. Start dancing in your room. Nanako has been rescued, and you were able to arrest the culprit. There's probably no need to watch the Midnight Channel anymore. Just dust your hands off and be done with it. Fog is covering the town. Case closed. The fog from yesterday is still there this morning. Welcome back, Abito. Nice to see you again. Yes, here I am. Take a look at this. Namatame's in today's paper. The front page headline article says that Namatame has regained consciousness. Today before dawn, the suspect Taro Namatame, who had been confined in a local hospital, regained consciousness. In response to police questioning, he testified that he is sorry for what he has done and was scared. Guys, I'm sorry. I was so scared. I just started... Kidnapping people. Started tracking them down. Gotta go now. Just wanted to stop by real quick. Hopefully you catch me next stream. Hopefully. Right? I'm not sure what I'm gonna do this week, honestly. <laughs> Cause I do kind of want to take a night off from work, but at the same time, I'm gonna have to do that later this month anyways. Cause I gotta get up early in the morning to take my dog over for his surgery. Which I finally got enough money to pay for. Pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass. But I love that little bastard. From here on, the police are hoping to solve the entire case based on the suspect's disposition. So it's finally over. Yeah. Seriously. I wish we could have done it sooner. Isn't the fog kind of thick this morning? And it's so chilly. <sighs> I know someone else that's pretty thick this morning. I don't know where I was going with that. It rarely gets this cold in November. What kind of fucking November you live in? Hey, it's brick outside. The fuck are you talking about? And both of you are wearing skirts. Of course it's cold. Oh, it's you guys. Perfect timing. I just got a call from the hospital. They said that starting today, it's okay to visit Nanako-chan. So she's getting a little better! Thank goodness! Oh, is that today's paper? So you already know about him. So, what's he charged with? Two counts of kidnappings and murder and five counts of attempted murder. Those are serious crimes. Five counts of attempted murder? Wait, five? Wait, what? Two counts of kidnappings and murder. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Five counts of attempted murder. From who? What? Where's the five counts coming from? It can't be coming from us because the police don't know about that. I think it'll go down in history as one of the worst sprees in Japan. He's still mentally unstable, but we're slowly piecing together a story. This is still a secret, but I guess it's okay to tell you guys. 
You know that diary we found? There were entries about Miss Yamano and Miss Konishi in it. Looks like Namatame had been making advances on Miss Konishi. Oh shit, yeah. The diary. Thanks for jogging my mind, Adachi. That son of a bitch! Yeah, well, I'm gonna head to the hospital now. Dojima-san's recovering too, so I need to go over a few things about this case with him. Yosuke. Sorry. I'm alright. Namatame's been caught. He can't hurt anyone now. But forget him. Let's all go visit Nanako-chan after school. That's where the five accounts come from, the diary. <laughs> of course! I was confused when I was like, wait, how? What? Tell the others once how do you guys know about that? It's the diary. Diary of a wimpy Namatame. Just a reminder, the finals are next week. How's your studying going? How's your, how's your teaching going? Don't question my study methods. Though you may be very busy with your studies, make sure you keep up your personal grooming. Every year, some boy comes stumbling into class with stubble on their chins. Of course, their 5 o'clock shadow is more a 5-day shadow. Speaking of facial hair, some nations used to Im impose a tax on facial hair. In the 18th century, Russia, they also had hat tax, bath tax, laundry tax, chimney tax, and more to fund their military. Well, now I bet they got a bunch of taxes going on to fund their military. Too soon? Too soon? I'm gonna shut up now. Let's forget about that. Let's forget I said that. Though sure we're taxing times, ho ho! Be sure to take this down. You never know what will be on the test, just like you never know what will be taxed next. Nanako, everyone's here to see you. <laughs> Just started yelling at Nanako. Wake the fuck up, Nanako! Get better! Hey, bro. Hey, Nanako. Talking still re seems painful for her. Nevertheless, Nanako looks happy. Dojima-san! Ugh, how many times does this make it today? I understand that you're worried about your daughter, but you still need your rest, too. He's in a chair, nurse. <clears throat> He's getting his rest. Um, are your injuries that bad? Hmm. Well, my wounds have just closed up, and it seems I have a couple of fractures as well. I'm sorry. I'll wheel him back to his room immediately. What are you apologizing for? It's almost time for your checkup, so make sure you're back in your room before then. You gotta be a bitch about it. it. Bro. <laughs> He's paying for it with his insurance, right? So calm down. You getting your paid. You know, you're getting your money. Let him see his daughter. Shit. <laughs> Don't worry. You need anything? Stay here. Well, that's easy. Nanako closed her eyes with a relieved expression. She seemed to have fallen asleep. <sighs> you received an explanation concerning Nanako's condition from the doctor. Her condition is stable for now, but, uh... But, uh, what? I never thought I'd say this as a doctor, but... We still can't figure out the cause of Nanako-chan's symptoms. That's why we can only administer temporary treatments to alleviate her current pains. But she's not in danger anymore, is she? She's regained consciousness, but we can't let our guard down yet. All we can do for now is to monitor her condition closely. <sighs> Adachi, how's it going with Namatame? Well, he's awake now, but he's in no condition to tell us anything useful. We only get a little time each day to interrogate him, so we're stuck until his strength recovers. I see. I should get back to work as soon as possible. Hopefully by then, Nanako will be out of the hospital. Um, I think Nanako-chan can get more peace and quiet if she stays here. It's so foggy out, and there's been some weird rumors going around. Seems like no one knows why there's so much fog in town. It's true. 
the number of patients complaining about fog-related health problems has increased, which is quite unusual. Is the fog poisonous? I can't say for sure that it has no effect on the human body. It certainly could be a psychological effect. People's anxiety over the fog could cause problems. But as far as the fog's chemical makeup, well, that's not my field, so I can only speculate. What concerns me is that transportation of our medical supplies has been delayed due to the fog. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> How? How? Can fog really delay deliveries like that? I don't, I don't think I've ever heard of that, honestly. It's too foggy out. Can't deliver anything. Fog-related health problems. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Anyone who says that is just blowing smoke. Yeah, almost like anyone who says getting vaccinated will help. <laughs> Ain't that right? Get vaccinated, please. Please do your part. Please. Who cares if you come out like Magneto? Get some superpowers. <laughs> I'm about to start sounding like fucking low tier god in five seconds. <laughs> but it seems like it will take more time until she fully recovers. My god, never. Hey, you want to have a good laugh? Just go to YouTube and look up anything that low tier god says. And then by the end of it, just remember that he pisses Isn't in bottles. Isn't this weather strange? <laughs> How could it be lasting so long? Jesus. I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what's causing it. It's so creepy. I heard that a friend of mine's son got sick from the fog and collapsed. You know how sensitive children are to that sort of thing. I heard something too. They say an old man was driving through the fog and got into an accident. What? Did he lose control? He got into an accident. Why'd she say it like that? Well, he'd never been in an accident or even gotten a ticket before, so something seems off. Isn't that scary? I mean, that seems pretty normal. He's an old man, probably has horrible eyesight, can't really see through the fog that much. Probably driving a little bit faster than he should have been. Got into an accident. I've even heard there are experts saying it's poisonous. I wonder if that's true. Do you think it's, you know, because of that global warming thing this town's changed a lot over the years i wish the government would step in and do something about this whoever did the voice for this lady had a lot of fun with it i can i can feel it i can feel it <laughs> this town has changed a lot over the years oh i wish the government should have stepped in <laughs> oh i agree completely if we're going to pay taxes i expect the authorities to do their jobs This fog is poison! It's a gas filled with viruses! Don't inhale the fog or you'll die! The damn fog stole my credit card. He's we must burn it. One like that I've seen lately. How, do, how the fuck are you gonna burn fog? <laughs> how does that work? Just take a torch, wave it in the air? If fog starts burning, if you can burn fog, that would be very scary. Poisonous gas, though? Jesus, what what is that fucking emo? Is that is that one of the fish from SpongeBob? Is that the guy who's like, every morning I break my legs, and every night I break my arms? <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's not true. Oh. Every night I cry myself to sleep. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh my. I I think I'm coming down with something. It's a taco. What? <laughs> I don't know what that is. You you can't be serious. <laughs> oh, that's right. I needed to do some grocery shopping. Is it an email well, from a streamer named Taco? Or is it something like Poggers? What the fuck does Poggers even mean? I feel like it's like omni omnipotent. Use it for anything. Business has been so slow lately. Pretty sure that's not even the right use of the word omni omnipotent. But you know what I mean. 
Just a taco with a face. Okay, I see it. Yeah, Pogger just means cool. Pay no, pay no mind to that save file that says level 99. Just don't look at it. Just don't even. Don't even think about it. Stop thinking about it. Stop looking at it. It's none of your business. You don't need to know anything about that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. It's nighttime. Head out. Do some crazy things. Renji, if you're still there. I'm not sure if you left or not, but if you're still there. I'd like to ask a question. Because you seem like you're a fan of Bleach. So, is Bleach coming back or not? Is that... Is that, like, confirmed confirmed? Because I feel like I've been hearing that for, like, a year now. Like, a year and a half, at least. It's an invisible boogeyman thing? An invisible thing? Oh. Copium. Like the guy in the game screaming in the streets. <laughs> He's breathing copium. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, Kanji. You're just out here chilling, having a good time, doing something. Doing something with your life. I'm not sure. I'm going to draw me a fortune. Who do I want to get closer with? I want to get closer with... I. I don't know why. I just want to. Great blessing. Cool. I don't even have time to hang out with I. I should have. I should have done it for now, too, to be honest. You ever heard students talking? The weather's really been weird lately. What's up with all this fog? This fog looks like it's gonna stay here forever. But I heard it's nothing t to worry about. I heard it's nothing to worry about. It's weird. <laughs> That's what some great, some great guy on TV said. Oh, I also, I also heard it's that it's poisonous. It's very toxic. Nobody even knows why it's toxic. Man, just why the fuck are they dragging out their words like that? Just thinking about how toxic it is makes me feel ill. Just thinking about how toxic it is makes me think how toxic you are. I should probably stay at home for a while. You're just too lazy to take the finals beginning next week, aren't you? Maybe. Maybe I don't want to take finals. I had a I had a situation the other well situation. Eh, a moment. Like about a week ago or whatever, because apparently I think middle schoolers were taking like their exams or something, like SATs or some bullshit, I don't know. But I was just like I went to went to a family member's house and I was like I was like, what the hell? I was like, why is your kid home from school? Don't they got tests to take? And they're like, oh, we opt them out the test because if they if they fail on the test, it brings down their grade overall. And I'm like, but if they don't fail, then it brings their grade up overall. And they're like, yeah, but it's not worth the risk. It's like, what? Maybe make sure your kid pays attention in school and take those fucking phones away. <laughs> Seriously, too cold now. Such a painful season if you got back pain. Oh, see? Speaking of back pain, there's a deity that makes your back hurt. It's a titan named Atlas. Dude, wait, what? Makes your back hurt? Man, they gotta step up. Exactly, right? Or at least parents gotta step up. Stop trying to be a friend of your kid. You're a fucking parent. Stop trying to make them happy all the time. Knock that shit out their hand. Go study. It's a titan named Atlas. Do you know about him? He's often depicted carrying the earth on his shoulders. And it looks really heavy. It makes me hurt just looking at it. And atlases are also used in a ge uh, blah, 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 blah. in a geography class. Do you know what they are? Well, you can. Who doesn't look like he knows? The fuck you mean who doesn't look like he knows? I got the highest grade in the fucking class last last uh, exams. Do you know what an atlas is? An atlas is a book of maps. Why do I feel like I'm wrong about that for some reason? You're very good. Yep, an atlas is a book of maps. Like, I doubted myself for a moment. 
Uh, McCrater, McCrater, McCarter? I don't even fucking know. Books of Map featured a large picture of Atlas on the cover. Note the spelling. It's spelled Atlas, like our company, okay? I mean, how else would you spell it? Well, there's always... Ow, my back. You have the correct answer. You're damn right I did. Yeah, you'll get nowhere not even trying like that. Yeah, I don't know. Like, have you ever played... Have you ever played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas? I'm pretty sure everyone and their mom has by this point. But there's a character in the game. I think his name is Jeffrey or something like that. But he goes by the goes by the name of OG Loke, and he's like the most annoying, like wannabe wannabe gangster motherfucker out there, right? And I feel like nowadays everyone's kid just acts like that. It's like, why is everyone trying to be OG Loke? The reason that character exists was because he was a joke, but now everyone's trying to act like him. I don't get it. Is there a joke I'm not in on? <laughs> why everybody out here being a fucking senpai, making a circus? You son, I don't know what to say. If you don't mind, I'm free today. Nato's trying to make you feel better. I got a couple ways you can make me feel better, Nato. Hey, hey, by talking to me and being my friend. Oh, but you don't want to advance yet. All right, so then, fuck out the way. Atlas with an A. How else would it be spelled? <laughs> New Atlas with a U. Jesus. Kanji's out here. Ready to ride his bike in the fog. Is there any? Hold on. I just kind of just ran past everyone. Because it's it's a week before exam, so I don't think anyone wants to hang out. So it's really nothing for me to do. <laughs> Bus stop. I can't even go to the daycare. Fuck. What do other people do? Spend time with Chie with Naoto. I mean I guess yeah, I guess I can spend time with Naoto. I mean just get that. Get that friendship up, I guess. Because I really can't hang out with no one else at this point in time. That's, like, worth it. And Rize's just been... I'm I'm starting to think the reason Rize just doesn't want to show up is because the game doesn't want me to get her to rank 10 at this point in the game yet. Because she's been gone for, like, Senpai? a clean month. Yeah. She just doesn't want to hang out with me no more. She wanted to watch a movie with me though. <laughs> Can work as a tutor today. I'll do exactly that. I'll also ship in more stickers. I think I have enough stickers to get another prize. I should at least. And I'm going to go for the rare prize because me getting those odd morsels were is completely useless. I don't need them. I'm going for the rare combo. Why is it even called a rare combo if you get only one item? Actually, I think I get two at a time, maybe. Pat the Nato. Good Nato. Best Nato. <laughs> Thoroughly explain the material. Pay me my money, Shu. Thank you. If you hear any type of screaming in the background, I just want to point out that it is a four-year-old or three-year-old, I don't know, child who is still awake at around like three o'clock in the morning on a weekday because his parents are useless. So just in case you hear that, you're not going crazy. That's something that's in my background. <laughs> Jesus, so foggy outside that it's getting in the house. You open the fridge. Looks same as ever. I don't know why I thought something would be in there. I was a little optimistic with it. It's like maybe I'll get something nice. Maybe.
Who wants to hang out with me? Who wants to be friends? You go for a bike ride, Rize, but you don't wanna you don't wanna head to you don't wanna hang out after school. But you wanna go on a bike ride though. Alright, I see you. Out here playing games. Waste my fucking time, Rize. It's Wednesday. Oh shit. I forgot to head to the to the riverbank on Sunday. Damn it. I should have done that. Hang out with Hasano. She is just chilling out here. Maybe now it's available. Maybe. You know, you start to realize how depressing it all is once you're once you don't have any happy music playing. Nato, you out here? Nato! Oh. Wanna go visit Nanako? Oh you son. You going to the hospital today? I'll come with you. I'm worried about you. Sure, whatever. No one else wants to hang out with me. Why not? You came to visit Nanako with your friends. Oh everyone's here. Big bro. Speaking still seems to be painful for her. Alright. How you doing? I'm okay. Nako conditioning doesn't seem like it's getting any better. Sorry. Thanks for all coming this way. It's kind of a pain. That's kind of fucked up to say. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a pain. I wish I didn't have to. Why don't you just die already, Nanako? <laughs> just, just get like real uncomfortably close to her. Like, it's okay, Nanako, go to sleep. We're all waiting for you to go to sleep. Anything for Nanako. Anything. Yeah, I'm sure she's glad you came. She's gone to sleep. Well then, we'll be going now. Please take care, Dojima. Yeah, thanks. Your friends are worried about Nanako as well. As well, I just added a bunch of words in there. As they would be about themselves. Feel that your relationship has deepened. With everyone. That's cool. Except for the part that the only ones that matter right now is Rize and Alto. Hear someone at the front door. Hey! You can work at the hospital tonight. Alright, Nato, put this on. There you go. That's for you, Nato. I know it won't deepen just yet, but let me get paid, okay, game? Sometimes I just want to get paid for an honest night of work. Those lamps over the bed look like little white top hats. Good work. You can report today's progress. Feel that relationship is going to become stronger soon. Okay, cool. 8,000. I get paid more to tutor a kid than I do cleaning a hospital. It's kind of sad. I can't even see the sky with all this fog. I really don't like this weather. Huh? Why? I'm fine with it. Some people say the fog is poisonous, but I don't feel bad at all. Worrying too much. Just imagine that the town was surprised to be like this from the very beginning. Surprised. Was supposed to be like this from the very beginning. You wanna know what happened there? Why I read that as surprised? Because I didn't even look at the word, I just kinda assumed it. <laughs> Pretend that it's natural. If you say so. More students are calling in sick lately, but I guess it's nothing really unusual. You know, sometimes... When I'm working at night, doing my rounds around the dark and spooky mall. There's fog outside. So, um, so it's nighttime, like the dead of night, no lights, and I'm walking outside and it's just foggy and you're hearing all the all the noise that the nighttime makes. It's pretty scary out there. It turns to Silent Hill real quick. What's even worse is if there's like people working there at night. So then you'll see like a figure walk around. 
in the fog and then you stop for a moment you're like all right hold up am i gonna die tonight is this where it all happens Naoto wants to hang out with me oh i'll think later Naoto. and rize is just avoiding me that's okay rize that's okay maybe i should go home for today the fog doesn't seem to be lifting either don't you feel drained on foggy days? The bad news is that I can't go home yet, though. That's the crushing reality of a full-time employee. I mean, you just gotta know how to schedule it out, right? Get in touch with your union. Make some deals. Shake some hands. Days like these, I just want to spend all day counting my money at home. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It's easy to count when you use a sequence of numbers with common di uh, differences. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Numbers with geometric pro progression are more difficult to count by. Here's a sequence that's even harder to count by. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. What the fuck? Uh, Yukun, can you answer this? 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, okay, yeah. Alright, yeah. Yeah, that's the Fibonacci sequence. You, uh, count by fucking adding the last two that you, that you know, that you did before. Yep, that's the Fibonacci sequence. Good to know you're studying. Fibonacci sequence is defined by starting with zero, then one, and then all numbers are the sum of two before them. I wouldn't dream of having my... I think there's a fucking puzzle in the first Zero Escape game where you have to use the Fibonacci sequence. My bad, Zero Escape. The first Zero Escape game is called 999. Sorry that I'm getting off topic, but my husband is acting weird. And that we've been fighting. Uh, what? Now that would be fine. Not that we've been fighting, but he's been going on about the fog is poisonous. I'm so depressed. Let's just continue the lecture. I think it's like a, a part of the game where you get locked in like a casino area of the ship. And then there's, I think, like the main... The main puzzle in the area has to use the Fibonacci sequence that you get by like doing a bunch of stuff in the casino or whatever. I gotta finish. I gotta finish. I gotta finish. I gotta finesse. I gotta finish um my own playthrough of like Zero Escape on my own personal time because I stopped in the middle of Virtue Last Reward and then you know I remember Zero Time Dilemma came out and I was like, damn it! That wasn't supposed to come out yet. And I was like, don't worry, I'll, I'll play it one day. And then I just didn't. <laughs> so I can hang out with Nato. And that's pretty much it, I guess. Senpai. How are you? I don't know what to say. Hang out with me, Nato. Yes. Yes, please. Central Shopping District. Fog has enveloped the area. It came without her the search for the Phantom Thief based on information she gathered. I've learned that in recent days a suspicious man has been spotted around the shopping district. He isn't a local, and his appearance doesn't mark him as a tourist or a shopper. I talked to the owner of uh, the owner. I talked to the owner of Shiroku's store, and she said that she saw the man only a few hours ago. She confirmed it was the same man who brought the card. If that's true, then he's likely looking for his next hiding place for one of the stolen items. He may be able to catch him in the act. Hmm. I feel kind of sad. A little bit. Huh? You too. <laughs> the detective I dream of becoming as a child. I feel like that's what I am now. I didn't even know that was the right answer to pick. I just kind of chose it. If my deductions are correct, there are two things remaining that the Phantom Thief has stolen. And if so, I'm quite certain that he's going to hide that one. Perhaps he is... Anyways, where's the area... Uh, what? Where in this area could he hide something unnoticed? I have an idea. Let's go, Senpai. Pat the Nato. It's like a little doggo. Pat Nato. Your. 
The man brandished a knife. Protect Nato. Senpai. There's no need for alarm. That knife's just a toy. What? I've been had. The man dropped the knife and ran away. This knife, I knew it. It's another of the seven tools I made. This is a knife-shaped radio. As I said, it's just a toy. But even so, what you did, what if the knife had been real? It would have been a grave danger. Naoto, hey, Naoto, hello. Naoto, hi. Aren't you the one who carries a gun in your back pocket all the time? You know, here's the plan, I distract him. You whip out the gun and you're like, freeze. All right, put it down. You're always like that. I can't imagine becoming a woman only to have a man protect me. And yet you always... Nato's trembling. You're really... You're really... You're already in a relationship with another girl. What should you do? Why? Because I love you, Nato! Oh. What? Huh? Nato's face is bright red. Um... Wait a moment. I thought you just said something serious. Uh, well... <laughs> now that you said such a thing, I can't even look you in the eye. You can sense affection from Naoto, a different kind than before. You feel your relationship with Naoto has grown deeper. Nato's growth of heart has affected her persona as well. Heat Riser. I mean, Heat Riser is a great thing to have. Very great. But I'm gonna pass up on it. Not for my Nato. No, no. Nato, you just worried about that mind charge. You told Nato your feelings, but Nato has yet to reply. I'm going home. Oh, you need to worry about the Phantom Thief anymore. So, uh... Goodbye. Don't mind me, I'ma just take my shit and leave. Excuse me, please. <laughs> what, what the fuck just happened? I'm not sure if the microphone picked that up, but someone definitely dropped something super heavy in my house. I don't know why people keep fucking around with shit in the middle of the night. You watched Nato run off and went home by yourself. You took the walk of shame. You can tutor tonight and work at the hospital. I'll go work at the hospital. So wait, wait. Nato's at what, eight now? Eight, okay. It would have been weird if Nato was just hanging out around here. I just wanted to check. <laughs> like, hey, Nato, what's up? Remember earlier? It's annoying that Rizzo's out here and she doesn't want to fucking say anything to me. You can hear the nurses talking amongst themselves. Uh, which room was it again? The one with the patient, uh, the, or, or, fuck, Urahara-san mentioned before? I feel like I didn't say that right. Why the fuck does she have a U and E in the same spot? Why? That's weird! I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pronounce it Urahara. What? You better get going now, or she'll be, or she'll yell at you. She's been really scary lately. She's been trying to, uh ah! If you have time to chat, you got time to go check on all the patients. Nakata-san, room 512. Did you finish the this and fought? I had to take a breather for a moment. <laughs> Did you finish disimpacting the patient? 
I was just about to go. I see your skill that's lagging off. Takahashi-san, the equipment order from uh, equipment order form wasn't filled out properly in several places. I I'm sorry. I'll fix it right. I've already fixed it and sent it. Just go. Yikes. Good job. You can. I see you're working. That's good. I'll be going then. Sayoko looks a bit pale. She also seems to be very tired. Hang in there, I guess. <laughs> right, I can still work. Sayoko smiles awkwardly. Yep, very nice and clean. <laughs> Some may say, simple and clean is the way that I am feeling tonight. It's a feeling that's kind of hard to let go. <laughs> I like the schedule of physical with the nurse. Meh. Meh. She's not really my type. I get I get a Kashiwagi feelings from her, you know what I mean? That and I mean like earlier in the social link she's all like, "Yeah, so I was cheating. Uh, I mean, uh, this guy was cheating on his wife with me." <laughs> right. You're right. Tamaki's better. I'm not Tamaki, T Takami. Takami? Takami. You mean the- Oh, yeah! Shit! <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. I usually say her name as a whole- In my mind, I go, yeah, Tai Takami. It's like, I say her name out. Oh. Also, nice to see you again, Jack. It's been a while. So, wait. I completely forgot. Uh, I was reminded, like, earlier this week. Fucking, um... Why did they change the voice actor for fucking Takami in P5 Royal? What was the point about that? Oh, I don't have any time to hang around here either. It's gonna be another all-nighter for me. I'll be going. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Bye-bye. They did? You had no idea? Yeah, um... I forgot what it was. I think I was trying to... I think I was trying to find something out for, uh... Either Persona 4 or 5 or one of the games, I don't know. I was trying to look up something, and then I saw, like, a Reddit post, like, in the search, you know, I searched on Google, and then there was a Reddit post that had a link, and it's like, yeah, they're like, uh, Takami's voice is better in the old one, and I'm like, wait, what? And I was like, what do you mean her voice is better than the old one? It's the same, and then I clicked on it, and I looked at the video comparison, I was like, oh, shit, yeah, they did change her voice. What the fuck was that about? <laughs> in Persona 4 Royal, they gave her a new voice actor. And I, I don't think there was anything serious about it. Maybe they just couldn't find the voice actor or whatever. The English one, yeah. It was the English, uh, it was the English voice. But like in Royal, she sounds younger. Like that stoicness she had in her voice before. Like that air of mystery, it's not there, you know? She has a more, she has a lighter voice for some reason. Which is weird, because it's like, why did you just use the same damn voice lines? Did you really need to recast her? Did you really need to re-record shit? Because I don't think their lines are that different, except for maybe, like, a couple of new ones that they got for, uh, for, like, the added events later, but... You know... I don't, I don't know why they did that. The old Japanese calendar had different names for the months. September was Nagasaki... Uh, fuck. Nagasuki. And October was Kanazuki. 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 I don't even know how to pronounce that. This weather feels like all the gods have gone away and left us since the last month. Kind of like the, uh... Kind of like the... Shit. I was gonna say something about Final Fantasy XIV. What was it called? The Calamities or something like that? I don't even fucking know. Umbral Calamities or something? This fog is just nasty, isn't it? It's like being wrapped up in gauze, like an Egyptian mummy or something. Of course, in my house wasn't as nice as one of the ancient pyramids. I probably wouldn't complain about it so much. But mummies are all are already dead, so they don't have anything to worry about. You, however, have tests upcoming. And if you failed the last exam, you have even more cause for concern. I don't want to see you haunting these halls. Well then, Yuchan, 
I've got a question for you. See, you didn't notice it because you played Royal in Japanese? Oh, really? I only played the original in Japanese. I played the original in Japanese and then I was like, I wanted to bash my head in every time Ryuji talked. Because I was like, that's not his voice! No! <laughs> no! Ryuji, why do you sound like a loser? It's kind of like when you're like, I'm gonna watch Dragon Ball in Japanese and then fucking you have Goku squealing all the damn time. Ryuji! Like, Jesus. Shut up, Goku. There are, there are over, oh shit, there are over 130 ancient pyramids in Egypt, but do you know who's buried in the biggest one? I actually don't. Uh, I don't think it's Cleopatra. Is it Cleopatra? Fuck. Maybe? P5 in English and P5 are in Royal. Wait, what? <laughs> P5 in English and P5 are in Royal. And P5 Royal in Royal. <laughs> A little confused there. Yeah, but I guess you played P5R in Japanese. That's what you meant? Hmm. Oh, no. I mean, like, I, I played a, I played both um, P5 original, both in Japanese and in uh, English. Because when I did New Game Plus, I did Japanese. But P5 Royal, I didn't do in Japanese. Uh... Is it Cleopatra? Fuck, I actually don't know this one. Kufu. I don't know. That's right! The Great Pyramid is the tomb of the of the Pharaoh Kufu. Also known as... As a... So, what? Cheops? Che Cheops? Che Cheops? I don't know. What? It took over 20 years to build and was the tallest man-made structure in the world for almost four millennia. I'm gonna put this question on a test. Okay. I wish you all luck in moving to the next grade. Study hard. Alright, well I pulled that one out of my ass. Same practically a sub only guy. Uh but I do not understand what's going on with the Japanese voices in Dragon Ball. Yeah, there's some like Hello Rize! Am I busy after school? I don't know, maybe. Maybe I'll just fucking avoid you for a month. Or two. Oh. Yeah, we'll see about that. Now you want to talk to me? Hey, Nato. How's it going? Sim I love how oh. I cut Nato off and it just sounded like she called me a simp. Sup, simp ass? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, but, um... Yeah, I, I mostly... I mostly watch subtitles, yeah, with Japanese stuff. I remember I was at... There's a bunch of people at my job. Most of them are kind of like dude brody, right? Like there's this one guy who just fucking, oh my god, he's the most dude bro guy ever. That's just really annoying. He's literally the type of guy that will yell about how he has to get in his protein while he's like slurping, slurping down a cup of fucking ramen noodles. And it's like, great protein, bro. You sound smart. But I remember they were like, why the fuck would you ever watch anything with subtitles? And I'm like, because for the most part, most of the script was made for that language. So it's just better for the most part. And I get when people are like, they don't want to read when they uh, when they watch stuff, but it's like, A, if you read it, you're going to pay attention to it more. And B, I'm not sure how long it takes for other people to read, but I can read pretty fucking fast, so it's not a problem for me. I don't miss anything. I don't know why I went to Nato. I should probably go talk to Rize because she's been avoiding me. <laughs> Rize, get over here. I only got one more thing to do with you. Yeah, but there's definitely um some anime that just the just the fucking original voice work is just kind of not bad, but it's not it's not what you expect, right? Like one of the busy, uh, busy, wow. One of the busy, ugh, I can't even speak no more. One of the biggest examples I can come up with is like, uh, I think for Kingdom Hearts or whatever, the uh, Japanese fan base likes the English voice better. Which is why, like, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix for the PS2, 
for years had English voices in it, but they never came over to the West until the remakes. <laughs> right? It's like, it's in English. Why can't we have it? You can't have it. It's not for you. Damn it. Uh, um... At least I think that's what happened. Don't I quote am me on currently it. In Senpai's room. You are in my room, Rize. That is where you are. You are in a room that is mine. Seems quite clean for a boy of his age. Yes, yeah, very clean. Um, just don't just don't bring a black light with you, and you'll be fine. There doesn't seem to be anything lying around that he wouldn't want me to see. Now then, where could the goods in question be hiding? I'll ask the man himself. So where do you hide them? You want to see it? <laughs> Whatever do you mean, Rize? Oh, stop acting all normal. You know how embarrassed I feel right now? Jeez. How embarrassed I feel? You're sitting here playing fucking Nancy Drew in my room, goddammit. I've never been in a guy's room before, so I tried covering it up. And you... You meanie. Senpai, you're leaving in the spring, right? I've made up my mind about something. You see... <sighs> I'm thinking of going back into showbiz this spring. I am Rizad, after all. And when I consider it that way, I think I can have more fun working. I know how hard it is for a star to make a comeback after an entire year's absence. When I think about it that way, I can suffer and starve myself and go through grueling uh, training sessions to be an idol again. Because it's fun! <laughs> it's fun. But even then, I want to start over from the beginning. Kingdom Hearts characters make sense. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Disney character. How do they do Donald's voice in Japanese? I know how they do Goofy's voice, it's just like really deep. But how do you do Donald's voice? It's gotta be weird, right? Ain't trying to hear Japanese Donald and Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the fan who gave me that letter? I'll do it for her. For my old manager, Inoue-san. Fucking have Goofy walking up to you in Japanese talking about, Oh, Goki Genyo. <laughs> for my family, everyone, you, and for myself. Rize's eyes are shining. Senpai, this... Like diamonds in the sky. I want you to have it, Senpai. Remember when every radio in everyone's car would constantly have that fucking song on full blast? Because they would just keep playing it over and over. We're beautiful like diamonds in the sky. What was that, like 2011? 2012? It's the one we took at school. I look really normal, don't I? But even then, I signed it Reset. A reset without a fake smile. What the fuck? Did she give me a photo? Oh, signed photo. Okay, cool. Senpai, I won't make the same mistake. There's no such thing as a me who isn't me. So I won't run away. I won't try to be someone I'm not. There's a lot of Rizes inside me. I won't try to change them. I'm trying to get a lot of Rizes and- Actually, you know what? Scratch that. I take that back. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm trying to get a lot of Rizes inside me. Damn it. Instead, I let people know that those Rises exist. That's the me I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> what was I saying? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I say shit sometimes, okay? Rize's strong will that allows her to accept and overcome her weaknesses has awakened her heart's true power. Rize's persona has been reborn. Even though it doesn't look that different. Himiko has transfigured transfigured? Yeah, transfigured into Koseon. Or Konseon. I pronounce it Koseon. This means my powers have changed? It means you might not be useless anymore. I see. I've become a little stronger. That's a lie, she wasn't useless. She actually helped me a lot last time. Thanks to you being with me. <sighs> Good luck trying to go back into being an idol with the boyfriend, Rize. That never works out, ever. Um, 
senpai? As long as you're watching me, I'll do my best. So, um... Well, I'm happy doing anything if you're there with me. Anything? Listen. We can play a Monopoly right now. I'll let you be the car. Well... <laughs> I'll be the thimble. Oh, come on. I've confessed my love hundreds of times on TV. When you were a child, if you ever played Monopoly as a child, did you know it was a thimble or did you just call it the bucket? I called it the bucket. I'm the bucket. Why can't I do it in person? <sighs> Rize, her face, or wait, her face red, is at a loss for words. Um, I'm sure I can hang in there as long as you're watching me. Wow, Rize, are you really pulling the fucking it's great to hang out with you moment? Like, you're not even gonna say I love you, you're just like, man, it's fun hanging out with you. Because, um, you're special to me. Uh-huh. You can sense Rize is unconditional love. It don't seem unconditional. Feel a tight bond between you and Rize. She won't say it. Yeah, you're fun to hang out with, too. Like, what? What does that mean? <laughs> what? Thou art I art thou that has established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Ishtar, the ultimate form of the Lover's Arcana. Or, if you played Catherine, you might know it as Ishtar, the ultimate asshole. Fuck you, Ishtar. No matter what I'm doing, I am me. Ishtar with her hair all straightened out. God damn! I can say that for sure now. And the strength to say so, it was you who found it for me. I'm going to like the me you found. After all, I like the you who found her. Senpai, I love you. Ah, there we go. Love you. I wonder what kind of I love you they use for these scenes, for the persona scenes in Japanese. <sighs> Senpai, keep watching me so I won't mess up again. Because I don't think they would use Aishiru. Look at me. Aishiru is like fucking I love you. You're the one. No one else. <sighs> right? They might just go with the, you know, basic skide. Um. Well, I. Skide is just I like like you. I've never gone through this kind of thing, so... Um... I can't imagine anyone being a teenager in Japan talking about Aishiru. Like, we Jesus! We were on a TV set! Laid it on thick this there! Be a rap. So, uh... What am I supposed to do after this? Supposed to get down to business. Mm -hmm. And by down to business, I mean we're doing our taxes. I made a lot of money this year. And I'm, I'm moving out in the spring. I'm moving out around March or April. I gotta, I gotta finish my taxes for the fiscal year. All right. So three days done now. That's cool. Only got now till left. Now time for the fan service. What fan service? I'm doing our taxes, man. I made like over a million yen this one year in this fucking game. Let's see. There's really nothing for me to do. If Nato's not here, there's nothing for me to do. I can I can work at the hospital, right? That was an option? Yes. <laughs> I didn't even read that earlier. He understands zero Japanese, but he listened to Tom. It feels like you understand negative one. Jesus. Donald's weird. Good work. You can report today's progress. Again, I clean up a whole entire room. A whole, car a whole entire floor. 
of the hospital and I get paid less than fucking giving a kid some lessons. That's sad. You ever heard students talking? Hey, don't you think that there are more and more people getting weird because of the fog? Or maybe they're just using the fog as an excuse to fucking start raiding places? <laughs> I even see people wearing these huge gas masks around now. Yeah, and people are getting sick too. Haven't there been people saying a lot of weird stuff lately? Like that the world is ending and global warming is because of original sin? Nutty stuff like that. Hey, what do you think's gonna happen if you think someone's sick? Wait, what? If you think someone's sick, wait, what? What do you think's gonna happen if you think someone's sick, but you don't do anything about it? Okay, I'm sorry. I had like a hard time reading that for some reason. I mean, to be honest, yesterday my dad... ...have a witch hunt. Good morning. What's up, you guys? You don't look so well. Are you exhausted from studying from, uh, from the test tomorrow? Test around the corner? I don't fucking know. I hope you're not forgetting something. Christmas is coming up in a month. Have you found your dates yet? <laughs> I got mine already. Tell you what, I'll give you guys a Christmas question. All right, I'll ask a question regarding cakes. Not a kim, not a comic kim. I'm all about that cake. Which of these is considered a rice cake? That would be mochi. Mochi is also the name of that weird duck thing from Monster Rancher, which most people don't even remember exists. Mochi is a type of rice cake. When you think of cake, you think dessert, but something pounded together is also called a cake. <laughs> a couple of things pounded together is called a cake, I don't know what I mean. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! I've been pounding cake all night. <laughs> Jesus. Persona 4, pounding all night. <laughs> That's the case with mochi, as, it, as it's rice pounded together. You ever see fucking people pound mochi? It's crazy. Like, you really gotta trust someone not to smash your fingers. <laughs> As another example, uh, kamaboku, hope I said that right, is a fish cake. Fish meat pounded together. However, you probably don't want to be eating fish cakes on Christmas night. Don't tell me what the fuck to eat. Gave the correct answer. You, what the hell? What are you doing? My dog just like ran across the room for no reason. Why are you why are you sneaking around? I can see you. What the hell? What are you doing? Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. Fuck! <laughs> I snapped my fingers to call my dog near me, and then my other dog got up. Damn it! Go sit down. Thank you. That was a bad choice. That was a bad choice I made. I snapped my finger so I can get attention on my dog, but then my other dog got him and said, What you snapping for? Like, damn it! <laughs> made a bigger mess. Alright. Hanukkah, what the fuck are you just standing here for? Hey, you. You're on good terms with that Prince of Junez. What does she mean? You mean the bear? Bear? What are you talking about? Seems you were mistaken. What? Yosuke? Huh? Nauta? Huh? Alright. Well, bye. Prince of Jun- What? Who the fuck is the Prince of Junas? Oh, you son. Uh, please don't lose heart. If you don't mind, I'm free today. So we got floodplains. The man in black you met before is waiting here. Fog has developed the area. I am Yakushiji, secretary of the Shirogane estate. I humbly apologize for the other day. It's okay, Alfred. I must also apologize. Though I may not have known, I involved you in this. It was an act put on by my grandpa. My master has been terribly saddened by Naoto-sama's state of affairs lately. Lacking acquaintances to confide in, she devotes every fiber of her being to work. 
My master wanted Naoto-sama to regain the joy she felt in days past. To regain the feelings when all that she wanted was to be a detective, regardless of her heritage or gender. <sighs> Man, yeah, you're giving away her whole entire government, dude. <laughs> I involved you at my own discretion, believing you to be trustworthy. Please forgive me. I received this from Yakushiji-san. It's the final challenge. The card reads as follows. I did what you can't stand to at a place you'd be fond of. But underneath, rather than inside. A place I'd be fond of. High places? Because you're short? You remembered. Pint-sized detective? place around here is the hill oh I was thinking the TV pole <laughs> the TV antennas what Next, what I can't stand to do grandpa's the there murderer are several possibilities but uh exercising that's kind of an insult <laughs> throwing things away that's right did I mention that before I honestly don't know if you did or not Nato has an embarrassed smile on her face. Considering what's at the hill, the most likely answer is the trash can. I have an inkling of what might be there. Let's go, senpai. The hill overlooking town. Fog has enveloped the area. It seems there was something taped to the bottom of the trash can. I forgot this thing even existed. It's the last of the seven tools. The detective's pocketbook. <sighs> All the things I had forgotten about are packed in here. I think Grandpa wanted to remind me of them. This childish game. He's selfish indeed. Forcing me to recall all this now. I was trying so hard. Not to be underestimated. Not to be condescended to. <sighs> you calm down and upset Nato. Wait, what the fuck are you so upset about? Wait. <laughs> she was upset about that? If I solve this town's murder case, then everyone would accept me. They would acknowledge me as the fifth in the Shiragane lineage of detectives. That's what I told myself. I just wanted to be accepted. I wanted to be needed. That's why I fretted and stood on my tiptoes and focused only on solving the case. But the original reason I wanted to become a detective, it was because mysteries intrigued me and I could help people by solving them. That's all. I remember now. Do you recall the time I faced myself in the TV world? It was my task to accept the self who yelled, I want a reason for me to stay. But my reason to stay was not solely to solve the crime. You, everyone, gave me a reason. You gave me a place to stay. Nato is trying to smile through her tears. I have to be an adult. I have to be a man. With that way of thinking, I was running for myself. I don't need to look for something to change or something to accomplish. I only need to have faith in myself. I finally think I can accept myself. That I'm a woman. That I haven't yet become the detective I wanted to be. I, I am a woman and a detective. One who is seeking the truth with you and the others. You can sense Nato's strong will. You feel your relationship with Nato has grown deeper. The Nato Shiragane social link has reached level 9. Nato's, determin <laughs> Nato's determination in battle has been enhanced. Nato can now take a mortal blow. When I'm with you, I become scared. 
Afraid that the instant I admit the truth, everything will spill out. <sighs> but I need to say it. My true feelings. I love you. Damn, that was easier for you than Riza. Shit. Uh, anyway, that seems to be the truth. There's no turning back. Your relationship with Naoto has become intimate. I'm so embarrassed. I feel like I could die. You passed a long, a long while with Naoto. Here's someone at the front door. Hey, Snuffsoul. I'll take that. You can be a tutor today. Got one more social link with Naoto. One more. Mm -hmm. So, listen. I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable, right? But I might. Uh... For the most part, I don't like being political on my channel, right? But I do have a question. And it's... Does Naoto's whole social link hold up as much as it does? Like, in the current time? That we're in? At least in America? Because I feel like it kind of does, but it also doesn't, <laughs> right? Like, you know what I mean? It's weird. Oh, I see. The word that was omitted. So it's really saying... You begin to explain the sentence to him in an easily understood manner. To tell you the truth, I'm not that good with the English language. He says in English. <laughs> I get it, they're all speaking in Japanese, it's just translated for us. Kind of like, uh... Snake Eater. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. That whole game, they're technically speaking in Russian. I can memorize what's in the textbook and get good grades on tests, but I don't really understand it. But the teacher doesn't comprehend... Wait, what? Yeah, it doesn't comprehend the difference between reading from the textbook and reading to people. Teaching must be a great job. Even idiots can be ignorant when they know more than you do. Wow, sounds like you just summed up college all in one sentence. For anyone who's going to college, I, I don't mean any offense. I personally just think it's a... It, chances are, most classes in college is like a big dumb idiot teaching a bunch of other people that don't know that the big dumb idiot's a big dumb idiot. They don't get what it means to learn at all. Hmm. It's not true. That's just how it is. Guess what, Shu? It is... what it is. <laughs> The student's value is equal to how well he scores on test. Well, at least that's easy to understand. Shoe nods. About the transfer student I told you about before. His grades are pretty good, but he can't beat me. So then, the rest of the class and the teachers made this face like the transfer student's no good after all. Looking down on him. And yet, he acts all big, so everyone hates him. Lately, no one even talks to him. It's all so stupid. Why do I have to go to school when it's so obviously dumb? Shoe? High five, buddy. Do what I did in high school. Actually, before I say it out loud. Hey guys, stay in school. Do your studies. Go to college. Get a good job. Shoe, do what I did in high school. Just say, fuck it, I'm not going no more. And then just show up for your test and your projects. And then pass that way. Because fuck everyone else. <laughs> Oh, that's what I did. Yeah, I totally ditched school. Well, I didn't ditch it. It was more like I would wake up in the morning and they're like, are you going to school today? And I'm like, no, no, I'm staying home. And then when I did go to school, like the odd couple of days out the out the month or whatever, I would go to school, have my headphones on, walk around, go to my classes, spend the whole day with my headphones on. People would hate me for it, right? I have friends too, but people would hate me because the teachers wouldn't get on my case for it. And the reasons teachers never got on my case for it was because I still passed everything with flying colors, so. They really couldn't complain. 
They're like, he's never here. How does he know all this shit? It's like, because, because I'm, I'm interested in learning things. That's why. Let's see. Uh, listen, Shu, you don't have to go. You don't have to go. But isn't getting an education required by law? Shu, shut up. Shut up, okay? <laughs> Even if I transferred to a new school, the school would be just as stupid. It's the same everywhere else. Shu grimaces. He is now a purple McNugget. I don't know if Grimace is supposed to be a purple McNugget, but apparently he is. Yosagami High looks fun. At least I get the feeling when I see you. Oh, but by the time I'm a first year, you'll already have graduated. <laughs> and there's no point, huh? It seems that Shu is slowly opening up to you. You feel that your relationship with Shu has deepened. Honestly, my grades could have been better in school if I did my homework, like, ever. <laughs> That's the only complaint I ever got. It's like, he just won't do his fucking homework! I remember one time I went to school, and then the teacher passed me, and I was like, Hey, you ain't checked my homework! And the teacher's like, is there even a point to it? And I was like, yeah, I gotta keep you on your toes. And then I handed in the homework. <laughs> Please come back again. Once in the blue moon, I'll do the worksheet. School was fun for me. I made it fun for me. You have the day off from school today. All you can do for now is wait and watch the situation unfold. Your finals start tomorrow. What should you do? Realize that you haven't bought anything. What we got? That song took a while to start up. What are you selling to me, Tanaka? Wait. What? I kind of just skipped it all because I assumed I would get my options and I... What the fuck happened? <laughs> Wait. What? He said he's, he said he's out of items. God damn it. God damn it, Tanaka. Alright, let's see. Who the hell can I hang out with today? Maybe Naoto? If Naoto's around. If not, then today is... What? Oh, today's Sunday. Fuck it. Forget about hanging out with Naoto. Hang out with Hasano. My! How are you, Chan? I'm happy to see you. Hasano sl uh, smiles gently. You feel your relationship with Hasano is going to become closer? Yes. I'd be happy to. Hasano smiles gently. All right, old lady, what kind of wisdom you got for me today? <clears throat> but still... The more I look at you, the more you remind me of him. His nose was just a little lower than yours, and his eyes a bit smaller, and his hair was shorter. <laughs> How the fuck can you have shorter hair than this? I guess you can have shorter hair than this, but still. I mean, hair's pretty short, damn it. He was a handsome man. Huh. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. oh, my husband. He was a kind man. Quite an attractive one, too. Ooh. My husband passed away recently. Listen, Your hair's shorter dear. than you? Well, I mean, like, yeah. I mean, listen. Yeah, if you got, like, a Caesar cut or something, right? But uh, I'm thinking... I mean, like she said... She said, like, uh, he looks a lot like me, but the hair is shorter. It's like, if the hair is shorter, then that means he don't got the same haircut. That means he's got, you know. I don't think unless getting, like, a Caesar or, like, some sort of fade or something like that. You know? At least for, you know, Japanese standards. I don't think you see that many people with, like, in Japan, anyways, that many people rocking Caesars. I think that's, like, reserved for, like, punks or some shit. <laughs> Do I look like death to you? Yes, you do. No, you don't. I see. You mustn't become death. You sound so much. I mean, the last person that became death in Persona. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. Nothing, 
you know, I'm just saying. I'm saying a bunch of nothing. Feel you brush <laughs> you brushed against a heavy weight that his son was bearing. When I'm with you, I feel like he has forgiven me. That can't be possibly true, though. After all, I'm the one who... <laughs> I'll see you later, Hugh Chan. See you later, James Sunderland. Goodbye. Jesus. <laughs> that's a little... That's a little reference for those who know. Yeah, you thought you wasn't gonna... Thought you wasn't gonna get a James Sunderland drop tonight. But you did. Keep you on your toes. Gotta keep you guessing. You think I'm going for the right hook. But I actually went for a left uppercut. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thought I was gonna step back, but I stepped forward. Why the fuck am I even running around here? If Naoto's not here, it's not worth it. Bust up. Oh shit, I don't even got a job tonight. God damn it. Alright, um, then head to the shrine. Naoto Chi! Small blessing. Hey, it's gonna become stronger soon. Nice. Your second term finals begin today. Oh shit. Yo. Look at that fucking Badidas bag. <laughs> so ghetto. Yo, you. Look at this weather, man. What's up with this? It's really weird. Have you ever heard of anything like this before? Oh yeah, in final start today. But that's seriously not the point now. What's gonna happen? <sighs> I'm worried too, I guess. I thought that stuff about the fog being harmful to people was just a rumor. But people are getting sick. And even besides that... There's been a lot of weird rumors being spread around town, too. Damn. I don't like how any of this feels. Gotta make like Morgana and go to sleep. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Man, you seem tired today. You should go to sleep. <laughs> what does French food stem from? Oh, shit. Italian? Alright. What does the figure and figure skate refer to? Geometric shapes? Final stay two. Who's buried in the biggest pyramid in Egypt? Khufu. What is the book of maps called? The Atlas. Getting ready for something to someone to throw a fucking curveball at me. You ever heard students talking? Ugh. There's no way we can keep the club going like this. Too many of our members are calling in sick. When is this damn fog gonna clear up? But Senpai, the people who are just slacking off aren't showing up either, right? You can keep the club with the members you're left with. Maybe the fog helped you find out who's the most dedicated to being in the club. Huh? Well, that's one way of looking at it, I guess. Finals Day 3. What words has the words bridal as its roots? Uh, bridal. What kind of bird is a ca- oh shit, Concadori? Concadori is a crow? Concadori is a crow, right? Crow. Damn it! Was it Sparrow? Probably a sparrow. God damn it. 
It was probably a Jack of the Sparrow. Which country does the South Pole belong to? No country. One one. Okay, yep. Fibonacci. I'm sorry, what the hell did that say? The sequence of differences. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to know what it said. Thought it said something else. You have heard students talking. Hey, did you hear what they said happened to the Midnight Channel? Someone said they turned it on and there was a picture of this town in complete ruins. Huh? My friend said that she saw Inaba getting swallowed by the fog and sent to some other dimension. She said there were monsters coming out of the fog too. Like in that story. Have you noticed? Ever since this fog started. It seems that some people can see the Midnight Channel even when it's not raining. Could it be? Is our town getting more and more messed up? Final day five. What desert? What desert? Oh fuck! What desert is the well? Well, Chia. Fuck! I don't even know. What's that? The Chia plant? Uh, I think it was the Nabim. Nab Nabim. Nab Namhib. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Which of these is considered rice cake? That is mochi. I like mochi ice cream. I like ice cream inside of the mochi. Man, this fog just won't quit. Kinda like that ass, huh, Yosuke? Yeah, that's right. I see you looking. The weather report said it might start snowing soon. But what's going to happen if it snows with all this fog? Whoa! Where'd you guys come from? Wow, that's quite a crowd you got there. We ran into each other back there, so we came together. The fog's so thick that sometimes you can't see your nose in front of your face, so everyone's forming groups now. That's the type of thickness I like. I don't want to see my nose in front of my face. You know what I'm talking about, right, Chie? Okay. I know Yukiko knows what I'm talking about. High five. It's definitely been weird lately. It's so cold, too. Visibility's so bad, it's scary. Can I stick close to you, senpai? Damn, girl. She got oh, y'all beat. This girl never changes. It really is hard to see anything in this, though. It's just like on the other side. What? G guys, put on your glasses! I can see clearly now the fog is gone. Whoa, it's all clear. What the hell's going on? These glasses are meant to help us see through the fog in the other world. They're also meant to be super fucking stylish. But putting that aside, no glasses would improve one's visibility in a fog under normal circumstances. Then, um, could the fog from over there be leaking into our world? I want to know when the turning point in the universe where glasses became a fashion item Instead of just like, who the fucking nerd with glasses? Because even the big round like Poindexter glasses that you think that people will get made fun of for, they still fucking look nice. Maybe it's just people overall have gotten hotter over the years. Huh? Well, you, you guys think that's it? I was kind of expecting you to ignore it as Chie being random again. <laughs> It's just a thought. <laughs> yeah, Coconut Head. Putting it to use. The mood darkens. Anyways, today's the last day of exams, right? Let's get them over with so we can meet up at the special headquarters after school. <laughs> wow, we haven't used that name in a while. It's only been like a month, Yukiko. Calm down. Isn't that right, Rize? You know it's been like a month. So she be fucking avoiding me all the time. You're familiar with every question. You feel confident about your answers. There will be a dramatic turn in the story from this point. 
it is strongly recommended that you take this opportunity to save. Would you like to save your game now? Yes, I would. Hey, here's a story about the fog. Um, some specialists are raising concerns that this fog may consist of harmful substances. More and more citizens are calling for an investigation into the cause of the fog and the facts about it. Though the government has begun its preliminary investigation, many feel that the causes will be hard to pinpoint. Oh, is this fog really dangerous? You hardly ever see people walking around town anymore. Or here, either. Everyone's too scared of the fog now to go outdoors much. It does seem a lot like the fog on the other side. Oh my god, Teddy, I fucking forgot you existed. Jesus Christ. But beyond that, I'm clueless. There's another item of note here. A summary of Namatame's career with details about the case. The suspect was having an affair with the first victim. It seems she was killed due to relationship troubles. Also in April, Miss Saki Konishi's body was discovered. The police are looking into a motive for the murder. In July, a boy living in Inaba performed a copycat murder. I know the motive for Konishi's murder. Her forehead so goddamn big, it was like looking at the fucking lunar eclipse. My man went insane, said I gotta get rid of it. <laughs> uh, she may be in the grave, but I gotta let her down one last time. The boy was initially thought to be the culprit behind all the killings, but later, suspicion was thrown upon Namatame. Last month, the suspect attempted to kidnap a seven-year-old girl of Inaba, resulting in his arrest. It seems Namatame is still confined to his hospital bed, so further interrogation has yet to commence. So it's finally over. A lot of stuff's happened. But all that's left is for the police to build a case for Namatame, right? I guess our work here is done. Dust your fucking hands off and let's go. Yeah. I'm sure we can leave the rest to your uncle. But the stuff he was saying was so obviously nuts. If he says anything about the TV world, he might be considered mentally unstable. Also, I heard before that if the police don't have enough hard evidence, it's difficult to build a case. Yes. There are many such cases and culprits. It's the eternal conundrum for crime investigators. So even if they're caught, the law can't do shit? It's a possibility. Hell's up with that! We all know he did it. You can't just let a maniac who thinks he's saving people by killing them run wild on the streets. They better not dismiss something this serious because of some mental issues. Saki-senpai. No, not just her. Or that announcer. Even King Moron is his fault. My man is dead and you're st you still refuse to call him by his name. God damn it. If it weren't for what he did, nobody would have tried a copycat killing. It's his fault Nanako-chan's in the hospital right now, too. You're reminded that you made a promise with Nanako to buy a new Kotatsu. What's the matter? You told the others about your promise with Nanako. A Kotatsu? Yeah. Oh, then why don't we go check them out right now? I know Nanako-chan would be psyched if she came home and found a new Kotatsu. Dude, why didn't you tell me sooner? The winter season's coming up and we just got a bunch of them in stock. All right, off to the houseware section for Nanako-chan! If we're getting a Kotatsu, we better get some oranges to complete the set. It's a cliche because it's true, damn it. The best compliment. Alright, Kanji. Alright. Hold up. up. <laughs> Hold up, Kanji. I don't think we can go around saying shit like that no more. <laughs> damn it. Dude, that much juice would kill the breaker the moment you tried to microwave something. Oh yeah, you've never used a Kotatsu before, huh, Ted? It's nice and toasty. Teddy, stop looking at your penis. Can I still stay here? You kept your promise to me, so I should be going back. 
I'm not sure if my microphone is picking up or not, but my dogs are snoring, both of them. They are snoring very loudly, and it is, it is very distracting to me. <laughs> but I don't want to go until Nana-chan gets better. Of course you can stay. How many times do we have to say this before it gets through to you? Nanako-chan would be sad if you weren't there when she wakes up. But... I couldn't save Nana-chan. Don't be silly. We saved her together. We caught the killer, man. We couldn't have done that without you. Teddy, you shouldn't talk that way when Nanako-chan is still fighting. You guys... Come on to my place, Teddy. Can I really? Maybe then I won't forget that you <laughs> that you exist. That's right. You're just by yourself at home now, huh? Hey, why don't we pick out a Christmas present for Nanako-chan while we're at it? Where the fuck's my Christmas present? Oh, that's a great idea. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital by then. All right, but none of this charge it to Yosuke stuff this time. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> we're clear on this, right? Yeah, we all charged it to Yosuke. Jesus. Oh, come on. Why would we do something like that? I feel like you already did it. Dude, the clothes you got for this guy? I almost pissed my pants when I saw the receipt. How many days do you think I had to work to pay that off? Well, I can't help it if Juness overcharges for things. Ugh. Well, I guess you gotta expect that. It's not like Chia-san's ever had the occasion to help a guy shop before. Oh! What? What did you just say? Come on, baby. Don't fight over me. Stay, Stay out, out of this! this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hyena. Let's leave them be and think of a present for Nanako-chan on our own. But what would a girl her age want? What do you think Nanako-chan would appreciate most? Nato, why the fuck did your voice change? <laughs> what happened? Hee ho? Hee ho. Yeah, that, that white round shape's the best. A plush doll's the way to go. Alright, as soon as Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, we'll have a party at your place. Yes! And we'll bake the cake! No the fuck you won't. Of course! Let's make it a cake to remember. Oh no, you're not! Are you trying to send Nanako-chan back to the hospital? Hello. It's Adachi. Hello, this is Adachi. Um, I want you to stay calm and listen to me, okay? Nanako-chan's condition suddenly got worse. The doctor wants you to come to the hospital immediately. We'll be waiting. Come on, let's go! In a municipal hospital, Nanako's room, the gym is listening to an explanation from the doctor. There's been loud voices throughout the hospital for some time now. Doctor, this fog is poisonous, isn't it? Isn't it filled with viruses? They said so on TV. Isn't there a vaccine or something for it? Calm down, please. That's just a rumor. Don't tell me to calm down. You're lying. We know you have medicine for this. Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? Why would we do something like that? What a commotion. What the fuck? <laughs> a hospital? What? What? Why would we sit there and just watch people die? Why would we? Why would we do that? It's not like you have enough money to pay for the procedure. <laughs> they literally do that shit all the time. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. <laughs> Dojima-san, you need to return to your... I don't give a damn about myself. Do something about Nanako. <clears throat> Dojima-san! Just save her. For God's sake, please save Nanako. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being.
Nanako. The nurse accompanied Dojima back to his room. Hey, can't you do something? This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, but... Damn it. What does this have to happen to a little girl like her? Calm down, everybody. How am I supposed to stay calm at a time like this? Can't believe this is happening. Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? You guys still here? Uh, yeah. How is Dojima-san doing? His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over in his room now. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. What's that mean? I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find them guilty in court. How the fuck is that possible, Adachi? You got the evidence, you got a bunch of people who can testify. Especially given the reason why we took him off our list of suspects for the first case. Oh yeah, something about him having an alibi. Yeah, that. And the whole angle about him putting people into TVs, there's no way that'll stand up in court. No one would believe that. Again, you got people who can testify. Just roll up a TV, I'll stick my arm through it. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatame killed these people. And Dojima-san knows it. Well, ain't you calm about this? I'm just telling you the truth. And you call yourself a cop? Huh? If you want to see that stuff so bad, we'll show you! Hurry up and bring a TV here, damn it! Hey, stop! What the? Is Nanako Chan's family here? I'm here. Hurry inside. Please talk to her. What's going on? No. Nanako chan. Daddy. He'll be here soon. <laughs> Nanako chan. Nanako chan. Can you hear us? Do you understand what we're saying? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. <laughs> Where's Dojima-san? We're calling for him right now. How's Nanako? Doctor. <sighs> Big bro. Dad's coming. Mm -mm. Nanako! N N Nanako! I'm sorry, sir. <gasps> Damn it! Damn it! Nana Chan.
We did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this. Dojima-san, what's with that look? Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Hmm? Huh? Wait, is, is Nanako-chan... But then, where did Dojima-san go? His room isn't that way. Wait a sec, that's the way to... Same hospital? For crying out loud, he's the suspect in the case! What are you getting mad at me for? This is the biggest hospital, and he's in no condition to be moved. Why didn't you say anything? In case something like this happened, the details of a suspect's hospitalization are confidential information. Just tell us where he is already! Dojima's son's on his way, ain't he? You don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him! Kanji-kun, you don't mean... Uh, hold on. Just what are you guys talking about? Cough it up! Where's this room? <clears throat> Top floor in the second surgical ward. Furthest room back. But there's a police guard. Meanwhile, Nanako's hospital room. I... I was always watching over Nana-chan, and I still couldn't save her. It happened in my world. Even though I was the only teddy in that place, I... I still couldn't do anything. I... <laughs> Let go of me. I need to speak to him. Like we said, without permission. Permission? Who gave him permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? The hell with you all! Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? Give me back Nanako! Give her back! She's... She's all I have! She's... I, the only one in the world. Call a doctor! Let go of me. I need to... Holy crap! Dojima-san! Quick, get him to his room. I'll go alert the doctors. Jima-san, was he seriously gonna... <sighs> His only daughter's dead. Nothing would have surprised me. Dojima-san probably knew that there's little to no chance Namatame would be convicted. Damn it. He killed Senpai, and now Nanako-chan. And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did. That's not right! Why? Why is he the one that gets to go on living? <laughs> the window in the room is wide open. You trying to escape? I... I... You have your life, and now you want your freedom, too? It's your fault that Nanako Chun's... I... I didn't. I... Twelve o'clock. Is it the Midnight Channel? Hey, isn't this... 
I failed to save her. It's because you got in my way. Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. No. Come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. What the... I failed, but it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. What? What? Don't you hurt me. Is that what Namatami's really thinking? Son of a bitch. Then... He wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law. I will never forgive what you did. This... Please... Stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. Or do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you? K Kanji... <sighs> do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? Damn right I do. I don't care either way. Living or dying... Makes no difference to me. But you, you're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? You don't know me. <laughs> I'll continue saving people. It's my mission. Mission? My God. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? The hell you think we should do, Yosuke? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. I... I understand, but... This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Wait a second. You don't mean... Are you... serious? You just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's... but... What... What's gotten into you guys? Justice. Justice has gotten into me. Easily. The same way he did it. Chie! Everyone, listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But... but... Yosuke... All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. J just p push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? I want to throw his ass in the TV. Yeah. We'll end this here and now. It's the only way to end it. Wait a second! Do you really understand what you're about to do? Chia, if you can't handle it, get the fuck out. Get out. It's the exact same thing Namatame's been doing. It's different this time. I hate the guy too, but you really want to go that far? Yes. Is getting revenge the right thing to do? Always. But if we don't do anything, he might... He will. I... I don't know anymore. I do. Are you sure about this? Yes.
You really mean it? There's no other way? Not from the law, no. What about you guys? Remember, there's no need to stay if you don't want to. I'll stay. Me too. I won't be the only one to walk out on this. I'd only suffer more that way. If this is what we've decided, I'll stick with it to the end. Me too. No matter how we end it, I want to witness it. The other world that caused all this to happen will surely take care of the rest. The case will be closed by the shadows that will appear from Namatame. With this, everything has come to an end. You should go back to Nanako. Nanako-chan. We avenged you, Nanako-chan. But I guess you wouldn't be too happy about that. You're such a kind girl. Hey, where's Teddy? Did he go home? Teddy has disappeared, leaving a note behind. I'm going back to my own world. It's not easy to live there now, but it's my reality. I'm really, really thankful for everything all of you did for me. Well, goodbye. Everyone avoided talking about the case and waited for the severe winter to end. And so, time passed. Spring has once come again to Inaba. Dojima's residence. And now, a story on the serial kidnapping and murder case that shook the town of Inaba. Police have released the identity of the suspect, who was confirmed dead after escaping the hospital, as Taro Namatame. Ruling his death a suicide, the police have closed their investigation. However, police have yet to announce the cause of death for either the victims or the suspect himself. Several criminologists have raised questions over how his alleged crimes were committed. It seems that though this case has come to an official end, Many of its mysteries will remain forever unsolved. Up next is our fog forecast for today. Fog is still covering the town, but it should soften G -G easy, somewhat man. this week with the coming of spring. Just today like that. and tomorrow, we'll see fairly light amounts of fog as usual. Saturation from then on is still to be determined. If you have travel plans, please be mindful of visibility conditions. It's almost time for your train. Are you ready to go? It's time. Starting tomorrow, I'll be all by myself in this house. It's gonna be lonely. Feel free to come visit any time, okay? And say hi to your parents for me. I will. Hey. Yeah? If... If there was evil in the world that had to be dealt with, but no one would step up to see justice done, it might fall to the closest person at hand to bear the burden of punishing them. Don't you think? Yeah. Maybe so. Maybe so, huh? Yeah. Well, we should get going. Your friends are probably waiting at the station. Come on. Hey. Thanks. Anytime. What game is next? Probably more, uh, Ace Attorney. You 
really are leaving us. You know, it was overdue quick. It's going to get boring without you around, Senpai. You will visit, won't you? <laughs> we'll come immediately if anything happens on your end. Be sure to take good care of yourself. Take care. Keep in touch, okay? I'll reserve a room for you at the Amagi Inn the next time you come. Well, I'll see ya. You really helped us out with lots of stuff. Thanks, partner. Boring. Mangle them! Magatsu is a nagi! Got you. Made you look. Did you really think I would do that? What you just saw was a pre recorded video. Shame on you, people. Shame on you! This ain't my first rodeo. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> I am the mastermind. I'm the true culprit. I gotta say, my plan, well, first of all, once I started playing that video, I got up and just walked out the room. <laughs> I came back and I was like, oh yeah, live stream, I gotta talk while doing it. So, whenever, uh, whenever I knew that I wasn't going to speak during the pre-recording. I just, you know, looked at the looked at the chat. <laughs> Wait, you pre you pre-recorded what I was going to say? Pull the fucking Joseph Joestar, and I know what you're going to say next. <laughs> All right. Now it's Ame. What's up? The window in the room is wide open. The hell do you think you're doing? I I was scared, so I... I... You have your life, and now you want your freedom, too? It's your fault that Nanako Jones... I gotta ask. Because I was really scared. I'm not gonna lie. Timing that video with that loading screen, I thought I did a little too fast. Did I really... Did I really trick you? <laughs> did you know? I... I didn't. I... 12 o'clock. Is it the Midnight Channel? Hey, isn't this... I failed to save her. It's, it's because, because you got, got in my way. way. Another Namatame! Another Namatame. Let me just make sure that I fucking click off this thing real quick before the video starts replaying itself. How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow! No. Come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona, either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. Perhaps. Perhaps. What the... I failed. But it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. Now I have you trapped in incession. Right, in session? What the fuck did I just say? In Inception. You're not sure if this is a pre-recorded video. <laughs> it could be. What? Was this whole stream pre-recorded? Who knows? Is that what Namatami's really thinking? Then... He wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law! I will never forgive what you did! This... Please! Stop! Huh? Stop what? 
We ain't even done anything yet. Or do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you! Yeah, you sick perv. K Kanji. <sighs> Sus. <laughs> Do whatever, whatever you, you want. want. You, you hate, hate me because, because the, the child, child died, died, don't you? I don't care either way. Living or dying makes no difference to me. But you, you're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? I mean, I've done it before. I can do it again, most, most surely. <laughs> I'll continue saving people. I think what we just witnessed in the past couple of minutes, I'm able to do it. Mission? My god. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Still, what are you going to do? Oh, what happened? Oh. For some reason, my fucking... My stream, like, stopped for a moment. No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. I... I understand. I thought it disconnected for a moment. <laughs> this must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large I like to give an applause for Naoto for being the first one to be like, Yo, I'm about this. Listen, evidence goes missing all the time. Sometimes the culprit escapes. There's a TV in here. Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Like now, to out here, truly about it. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Like, listen, I'm neutral in all of this, but maybe best girl, maybe, maybe. Wait a second. You don't mean? Are you serious? You just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's... but... What... What's gotten into you guys? Revenge! This is crazy! How can we do something like that? Cheer! Everyone, listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. Oh, we don't want none of that. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But, but, Yosuke... Yup. <laughs> that is Spider-Man. <laughs> All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. Yuri Lanthal, favorite voice actor. J just p push him inside? Yeah, Jay. If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. Just a little love tap, Jay. I'm not just... gonna force you to stay. Tip him over the edge. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What I think? What do you want to do, leader? I said we push his ass in. <laughs> Imagine if I actually did that again. I can't stay here. Wait a second. All right, Yosuke, hold up. Wait, wait up. Hold up. Wait a second. Hold up. We don't have time to wait. If we don't do this now, the cops will come back. I, I get it, but hold up. Take a moment. What are you trying to say? Listen, I think we're missing something. We, we might be missing something. Something we don't know. What don't we know? I, I don't know what he truly feels, maybe? But we just heard the guy's true feelings on TV. You got a point? What didn't you understand? You got a point, Yosuke. But... I mean, listen, something's, something's bothering me here. Well, what is it? I already told you there's no time to waste. Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? Come on, Yosuke, there's gotta be something. Think about it. Think about it. Just take a moment. 
Take, take a breather. Some. Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it, I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer. Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. All right, just calm the hell down, Yosuke. Yell that everyone to calm down. Listen, calm down. Just calm down, all right? We talking about murder here. He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. Yeah, calm down. Just calm down. <laughs> start, start getting up like fucking, like um, Abe Lincoln. Now you fucked up. I'm perfectly calm. You don't seem calm. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? Chie, don't press me on this. I'm just stalling for time, okay? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hey, let's all take a deep breath. Deep breaths. On the count of three, everybody. After what happened to Nanako-chan and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. Fine. Everyone took a deep breath. Just simmer down, all right? Seems that everyone has finally regained their composure. You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. Now, so you're the last one to be thinking about rationally. Fucking, you got Yosuke started on this shit. <laughs> Not to say there is a TV in here. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. That is true. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. I love how Naoto said, All right, guys, we were blinded by the heat of the moment. It was a group effort. Naoto, you started it. <laughs> you fucking asshole. But... <laughs> Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Yosuke, I said we gotta calm down. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. Yosuke, you don't seem calm. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. Kind of like when Yosuke didn't listen when I said calm down. Yeah, <laughs> he felt that one. <laughs> Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere anything and that's why yosuke is a fucking true one for real honestly i think that's probably why yosuke is probably my fucking favorite character in this game he's like i'll do it anytime anywhere anything I feel the same way jeez how the hell can you stay so calm man because it's me we're talking about then again that's why you're our leader <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. All right, I'm convinced. Yosuke's a big tum tum. <sighs> I mean, you. yeah, Yosuke's the dude bro of the group, but he's a cool dude bro. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. Oh yeah, because that's definitely gonna help, right, Riza? We all know how you feel, Yosuke. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Dude, fucking... Big props. Chie's voice act here. Listen, I know people don't like Golden. Persona 4 Golden's version of Chie, because she tends to yell your ear off. She's a little squealy, high-pitchy. But she's on the verge of fucking tears right now. <laughs> she's like, alright? <laughs> right. Together. Meanwhile, Yukiko sounds like she just got back home from a fucking field trip. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And thanks. 
All right, listen. I'm neutral, and I can't say Chie's best wife. I can't say it. But maybe. It seems that you will go on with your friends to solve another mystery. Hey, just like that, you've avoided fucking up your game. So, I gotta say something, right? Before reading all this. Thou are time, thou that establish you, bond, you, bond, shell, okay, blah, 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 blah. You can create Loki. Alright, cool. So, Persona 4. Pretty good. Pretty good, right? Story's pretty good. In term in term yeah. In terms of theming, it's pretty good, right? I think Persona 4 is a pretty good point for entry level. With that said, I wanna smack the shit out of the person that came up how to unlock the true route in this game. Because it's one of the worst things you could possibly do. And at the end, like like I like we just showed a couple of minutes ago. At the end, if you go down that route and you get rid of Namatame, there's no like I guess they kinda like low-key try to push you off of it with Chie going like, are you sure? Yukiko going, are you sure? Right? But for the most part, there's really nothing. There's really nothing that like gives you a head up like heads up that's like, hey man. Maybe you should, uh, maybe you should think careful about what you say, right? And not only that, but the argument you use against Yosuke... I got spoiled? No, I didn't get spoiled. The argument, um, used against Yosuke... Oh, this isn't my first playthrough, by the way. I just want to point that out. <laughs> this isn't my first playthrough. The only reason I say no spoilers is because I know there are people who watch this that haven't played Persona 4, and this is their first time seeing it. Um... You pushed him, not gonna lie, exactly. I managed on my first try, and here's the thing that really is weird. Okay, first of all, let me just continue the story a little bit. You know, our coming has forged a bond that cannot be broken, Loki, blah, blah, blah. So we can get all this fucking music and shit out of my ears real quick. But, um, on my first playthrough, my first playthrough was Vanilla, Persona 4. And even in that, I managed to get the true ending without fucking it up. And I did it completely blind. But honestly, honestly, it was like a hey, stroke of luck. You guys, what are you doing? You can't be in here. Oh crap! We were keeping an eye on the suspect. We weren't murdering. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation and their trust in you, Adachi-san. Oh, I see. We'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. He seems fine for now, but... <laughs> well, how Nato's like, like, what, what's wrong with him, Doctor? He seemed really agitated, almost like somebody was trying to kill him. Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. But of course, nobody here would ever do that. Understood. We should go, too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. So what's this thing we're missing, huh? All right. So... <clears throat> Like I was saying earlier, the argument you use against Yosuke, honest to God, just kind of doesn't fucking, like, it makes sense in the grand scheme of things, but in the moment, it sounds like you're just talking circles around him and you don't even know what the hell you're saying yourself. Like, wait, ah, oh, damn it, I can't pull up the log. But like, what the fuck is the argument, right? He's all like, we're gonna push him in. No. Why not? We're missing something. What are we missing? His true feelings. We just saw his shadows. We've seen it with everyone else. His shadow shows who he truly is. What are we missing? I don't know, man, but we're missing something. It's like, you have no actual real concrete reason. You just kind of worked your way there to get everyone to calm down. But, I don't know, it's weird. It's really weird. And it sucks, because if you fuck it up once, if you fuck up one of those choices, you are, you're automatically locked into the bad end. Right? 
you don't get a second chance. I guess unless you tell, uh, unless you look at Chie and you go, you go, no, nah, there's no other way or something like that. You know, when you go like, maybe there's another way. Maybe that's your second chance. And I'm pretty, like, I think in Persona 4 Golden is when they added the whole text blurb that's like, you should save your game here, blah, blah, blah. Because in Persona 4 Vanilla, I don't think they had that. I don't think there was a warning that was like, yo, hey, something that can change your game is coming up. You should really save your game here. Instead of that, you would just fucking go straight into it. You don't even know the last time you saved your game. Right? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? I'm just saying, like, Persona 4, I think it's a great entry level for people who want to get into Persona. But I feel like it's the most annoying when it comes to getting the true ending. And all the other, you know, and that would be okay if all the other endings were, like, satisfying in a way, but they're not. The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. No save the first try, you lost 25% additional gameplay. Exactly, it's like... God damn it. <laughs> Like, when you're doing the daily life thing, right, and you go to bed, and the next day, like, you're suddenly pushed into, like, a story event. It's kind of like, I guess another example of this would be in, um, if you ever played Xenogears, like, there is a huge level spike at some point later in the game, because at some point, you go from gameplay to three hours of story into your next gameplay session having characters characters and enemies that are like fucking what 20 levels above you or some shit it's kind of bad right it's like a bad stain on a good game kind of like tartarus in p3 hey if he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people i think that would have shown through or even worse the answer oh my god the fucking answer don't get me started maybe he faked it real well i won't get myself started on the answer jesus fuck or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Misuzu is a fun name to say. Say it to yourself in silence. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. I'm trying to think right now. I know the, I know like the requirement for Persona 3 to get the true ending it's pretty goddamn easy it's literally just a yes or no question and it's pretty obvious but i'm trying to remember what the fuck persona 5 had <laughs> i don't think pers did persona 5 have a moment where you can fuck it up yes yes it does it does i remember it does it does have a moment where you can completely fuck it up but even on my first playthrough of persona 5 i didn't fuck it up i forgot what the moment was honestly Although, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. Uh, you didn't know what, what, uh, social links were mandatory for the golden ending and got screwed? Oh yeah, that too! Oh my fucking god! I'm just going off of Persona 4 Vanilla Logic. Thanks for reminding me. Fucking Persona 4 Golden added another addition, which I don't want to talk about it right now because it would be a spoiler for people who don't know, but it added another, like, condition for you to get the true ending. So even if you were doing everything else right from a, especially, oh my god, especially if you played Persona 4 Vanilla first, because then you would go into Golden thinking it would be the same conditions and then you would fuck it up because you didn't know. Because they changed it in Golden. His reason for killing her. It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? And not only that, but they put a hard time limit on it too. 
like way even before you meet Namatame. There's a hard time limit to get to that condition. Oh my god, Golden really fucked it up. <laughs> uh, I don't really get any of this. Oh, this is so confusing! Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Oh, there you are, all of you. Please come with me immediately. Huh? What's going on? What are you waiting for? Hurry, go! I gotta ask what that emote is. Is that a bootleg Monkey D. Luffy? <laughs> Just all bummed out and shit? Where am I? Is this Teddy's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. La 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 la. This is my world. I Teddy's world. I being at the hospital. La 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 la. La 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 la. That's Teddy's right. world. Nana -chan. I wrote the music. I wrote the words. I... I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? I question that all the time, Teddy. I couldn't keep my promise. I lost my reason to be there. Th that's it. I remember now. So... It was true. Guys! Sensei! What should I do? Oh, there they are. Nanako-chan came around. Bam! Huh? What did you just say? Butterfly effect, bitch. Teddy's voice actor, though. Eh, I gotta say, I didn't like it at first, but, you know, it's fine. I mean, listen. I'd rather have the English voice actor for Teddy than the Japanese one, because Japanese one, every five seconds, I'm hearing, Kuma, Kuma, and I'm like, Jesus, alright, I get it. <laughs> Nanako-chan's alive? Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still, Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. So, so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? Nanako-chan... <laughs> oh my... <laughs> this is amazing! Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I... I didn't know what I was gonna do! <laughs> C come on! Stop crying, you two! How does one you fake cry? Go home for the night. I'll speak Big with props Jima to voice actors. I don't Nanako think I can ever pull off a fake cry. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. Wait a second, where's Teddy? Oh, well, now that uh, Nanako has come around, I guess I can say my joke that I wanted to say at the time, but I didn't because I felt like it would ruin the mood. She died how she lived, waiting for her dad. Boom ching. I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. You're right. That's weird. I also love how like Yuri Lowenthal, since he's did voice acting in a bunch of fucking animes and shit, whenever he mentions anyone's name, any like Japanese name, he puts a lot of effacents in it. I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. I'll try calling him up once we're outside. Nanako is fighting hard to survive. 
You must wait and believe that she will recover. Oh, there you are. Oh, hey, Dachi. I forgot to tell you. Don't pull that again, okay? You can't just meet with the suspect like that. Anyway, I came to give you an update on Dojima-san. His wounds opened up a little, but he's treated now and he's fast asleep. Alright. Did he... does he know that Nanako's back? He'll be alright. Don't worry. Knowing him, by this time tomorrow, he'll be on his feet and yelling at people again. Uh, don't tell him I said that. Anyway, I heard Nanako-chan's on the road to recovery again. And guys were being so dramatic that I got really worried. But this is good news. She'll be well again in no time. By the way, you're all alone at the house now, right? Yeah. Well, enjoy your freedom while you can. Dojima-san and Nanako-chan will be back soon after all. You sense Adachi's concern for you. Rank 8. Toro Adachi Social Link has reached rank 8. Cool. Well, I better head back. You go home too, before it gets too late. Uh, see ya. Couldn't save. I couldn't save. Why? Mayumi. And that girl too. I couldn't save them. Who's the voice actor for Namatame? Huh? Uh, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh. It's not Liam O'Brien, is it? I don't think it is. If it is, then that man got some fucking bass. Jesus. I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. <laughs> I did not want Tommy's voice. There's a respect I have for <gasps> like the like, it's snow. like voices that are like really breathy. Like Yukiko's, for example, she breathes a lot in, in her fucking voice lines. But then there's characters like Fuka from Three, which instead of <laughs> instead of her voice being breathy, she just sounds like depressed all the time. Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. It doesn't look that pretty though because of this fog. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's go home. Hey, Yosuke. If you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. Man, that Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine. But I'll hurry home just in case. How the fuck is Yosuke keeping Teddy at his place? Like, what excuse did he use? Well, see you tomorrow. Is that ever explained? Back in Namatame's room, was it really right to stop everyone from what they were about to do? For now, you have no way of knowing. You remember that your cell has been off this entire time since you were at the hospital. There seems to be no messages. Some kind of fucking friends you are, Jesus. <laughs> If you had a, uh, if you had your school friends, uh, at like Max Social Link at this point, they would have like little messages for you. I think it would be something about like, oh, happy that Nanako's doing safe or whatever, you know, whatever. All right, <clears throat> we're back home. That means we're gonna save our game so we don't fuck this up. Let's see, I don't think I can go out at night. I think you just gotta go to sleep, right? Yeah. Snow's starting to fall and fog won't disappear. What lies ahead, f uh, ahead from here on? You feel very tired. You should hurry and get some rest for today. See, when the game tells me I feel tired, you know, I agree with it. When a fucking cat tells me I'm feeling tired, I wanna throw that little fucker out the window.
this. That's like a reply that you see on Twitter nowadays, just this. Welcome. It's been quite some time. It seems you've been summoned to the... Wow, what the fuck just happened to my voice? Sherman. It seems you be sum... Eh. But it seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. Shouldn't I be more alarmed then? I have summoned you within your dreams. Don't be alarmed. I forcefully took your consciousness and brought it here. What? Now then, your journey has taken you quite a distance thus far. Do you believe you'll be able to successfully solve this mystery? I believe in magic and a young girl's heart. I can solve it. Splendid. Splendiferous. The precise destination of this vehicle, ah, that too is getting rather hard to judge. If we continue driving blindly, we may end up leading you further away from the mystery that you must reach. And I am not paying for that Uber fare. Well, why don't we take a moment to look back on your journey? It was for that purpose that I summoned you here tonight. Margaret? Voices you've heard many times before echo in your mind. We are experiencing the words engraved into your memory during your journey. Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. Thanks, Yukiko, you added a lot there. And it seems you have comrades with you as well. Those heading in the same direction through this dense fog. Seems that the car has stopped moving. We'll be parked for the moment while I confirm our current heading. As I mentioned previously, this year will signal a great change in your life. Though there isn't much time left, it can be worth your while to take the time to stop and reflect. People are like water flowing in a river. There is only one stream, but all who pass through it are affected differently. My guy Igor said, sometimes you just gotta bibbity bop and stop. <laughs> oh man, listen, I'm neutral in all this. I can't say Yukiko is the best girl. She might be. Some travel fast. Some change their course. Experiencing countless events as they travel down the river of time. Just so. The state of this room reflects the scenery of your heart. Perhaps this may be a time for contemplation rather than action. You can hear something in the distance. I just want to point out that I have CSI playing in the background this whole entire time I was streaming. I don't know how many episodes I went through right now, probably like three. Seems that you've been sleeping until now. You heard the doorbell ring. Someone seems to be at the door. Why, hello. Teddy's missing. I looked all over the neighborhood, but I couldn't find him anywhere. Like Zoinks, man. We gotta go find Teddy. Yeah, me too. He was acting all weird lately. Rise and the others are checking inside the TV to see if he's gone back to the other side. We're meeting pretty soon, so will you come with me to Juness? Where could Teddy have gone? In any case, you decided to go look for him. I think that was a good shaggy impression. I think I did a good one. I try to like it's throw no one use, out man. there every now and then. We can't find him. No luck for me either. I didn't sense anything over there. 
The fog's so dense, it might be affecting my readings. I wish I could do better. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, Ted. Don't tell me he really went back to his world this time. We told him over and over that he could stay here. You recall the mysterious dream you had last night? This may be a time for... Oh, thanks for the follow. Shit. Took me, took me a bit to hear that notification, but thank you. <clears throat> this may be a time for contemplation rather than action. That's what Igor said. Alright. Let's think about this. Everybody just sit down. I guess that's all we can do right think. now. He plays dumb a lot, but he's attached to us deep down. He wouldn't disappear without saying anything, right? I'm worried for Teddy myself, but let's trust in him and await his return. Right now, we must concentrate on the case. It won't be long before Namatame is transferred to another location. We must hurry, or we will miss our only chance to get his perspective on this. You know, I've been thinking about the case since, but something just doesn't seem right. I'm hearing a lot of things in my background. Okay. I don't know, I thought, I thought I heard people like... Oh, okay. It is. Uh, the fucking... One of the kids is still awake. That's what I was hearing in my background. Even though it's like, what, 5 o'clock in the morning? Let's quickly review the facts. Of all the victims, only two were killed. Miss Yamano the announcer, and Saki-san. From the documents we found in the car, we know Namatame had some sort of dealings with them. After that, there were multiple attempted murders in which we were targeted. Listen, I'm saying Namatame might be where Saki got all that sticky icky, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Your voice is not like that, damn it. It was only when he took Nanako-chan that we caught him in the act, identifying his modus operandi in the process. Operandi? I thought it was pronounced operandi. I want to hear you put it like that. Sounds like the dude's guilty. As a result of Namatame's arrest, the police admitted that Mitsuo Kubo was a mere copycat killer. Back up to yesterday. Remember when you said Namatame didn't have a motive to kill the announcer? That's what's bothering me. Right. Either he's completely nuts, or we're misunderstanding something. You lost me. She's trying to say that if Namatame is sane, then there may be facts in the case we don't know about yet. Sane or insane? Sounds like a play I saw before. I don't know. I don't know, Rize. When he talks about saving people, what does that actually mean? I guess that can be Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, right? Sane and insane. I don't think there's any doubt that it includes kidnapping people and throwing them into the TV. Could he mean saving them through death? He did call himself a savior and said that the other side is a wonderful world. If you're into some ooky spooky cult shit, yeah. So they'll be saved if they die? What a bunch of crap! The bastard should have gone and saved himself. What do you think, senpai? Hmm. Something else. If you think about it normally, it's gotta be him. But there ain't nothing normal about that world anyways. There's something I've been wondering about for a while. When we first encountered him, he said, You're the ones I saved. Don't worry, I'll save this girl too. Oh, yeah, true. So, um, if he saves people by killing them, did he save us too? Wouldn't he actually have failed to save us? You raise a good point. If he thinks that salvation comes only through death, his words to us make no sense. And another thing, the Namatame who appeared on the Midnight Channel said he failed to save Nanako-chan. Well, maybe he really was trying to save the victims by putting them inside the TV. C come on, don't get all quiet like that. You guys know I just say the first dumb thing that pops into my head. <laughs> Your beautifully coconut-shaped head. The possibility that he truly intended to save us. But he's still the one who threw in Saki-senpai in that announcer, right? Sure, we haven't nailed down his motives, but that doesn't change the fact that he killed them. Or what? You think someone else was involved? What makes you think so? The possibility of the culprit besides Namatame. Could there be something that proves this possibility? What about the warning letter? 
Morning letter? Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to that thing? If Namatami's the killer, he must have been the one who wrote it, right? Let's review them. He told me not to save anymore. He was saving them himself. We called the first warning letter said, don't rescue anymore. And the second one said, if you don't stop this time, someone close will be put in and killed. Yes, that's right. Isn't that kind of odd? Would someone who thinks he's saving people by killing them write stuff like don't rescue or kill? Yeah, and the will be put in and killed part doesn't make sense either. If the killer was writing it, wouldn't it be more like I'll put in and kill? Hey, could this mean... Namatame didn't write it. Yeah, it's almost like someone else wrote this letter. But only the killer would write such a letter and deliver it to Dojima-san's house, right? If someone else wrote it, that could only mean... Dear God, since this is such an unusual case, I was absolutely convinced that other than the Kubo incident, there was one culprit. So, Namatame really was trying to save his victims? Everything is exactly the opposite of what it first seemed. In Namatame's parlance, failing would have been the first two cases when the victims died. I'm sorry, Miss Fucking Big Words parlance? What the fuck? If he had used his method twice and failed both times, he would hardly have continued using the TV. And yet, he did. It all seems to suggest that someone else wrote this warning letter while observing the entire case. Someone else? It wasn't Namatame that killed Saki-senpai and the announcer? Notice the letter thing on your first playthrough? I mean, yeah. Great job. We can't say for certain yet. We urgently need to speak with Namatame face to face. I think I noticed the letter, uh... I forgot when I first noticed the letter. Let me think. First one was Don't Rescue No More, the other one was Put In and Killed. Uh... I was trying to think when it clicked for me with the letters. Probably was a little later. You all work together, uh, we all work together to take another step towards the truth. <clears throat> when the fuck did I first notice the letters? Why can't I remember? <laughs> I think it's when he looked at Yuki and said, I saved you. And I was like, what? <laughs> How though? After what happened yesterday, they said they're going to tighten security. I have a plan. But there's no time to waste. Let's hurry to the hospital. Hey, this place is off limits. You're off limits. I'm a consultant with the police. I'd like a few words with Namatame-san. May I go in? This is Unit 252 requesting confirmation on an ID. Name of Naoto Shirogane. Huh? Ah. Understood. I see. Well, you're on the list. I can give you a few minutes, but I'll have to record your conversation with him for security purposes. Not that I expect you'll get anything coherent out of the guy. He's been spouting nothing but gibberish. I'd like him to accompany me as well. He has no identification, but this is an emergency situation, and he's here in Detective Dojima's stead. Huh? Detective Dojima sent him? I wasn't informed of this. I'll vouch for his identity. Well, I guess it's better than dealing with the man himself. We have our hands full with the transport procedures, so the last thing we need is Detective Dojima running wild. Detective Adachi is busy somewhere, too. This is Unit 252. Huh? I see. Has something happened? There's something about a suspicious object out in the lobby. Ah, well then, this works out nicely. You should back up your colleagues downstairs. We'll keep watch over Namatame-san. A disturbance in a hospital lobby, after all. It sounds serious. If anything happens, hit the nurse call button. I'll leave the rest to you. 
Understood. Please be careful. I want to point something out real quick. I knew they were undermanned, but I didn't expect because, it to go this smoothly. You know, I work security jobs myself. If there's a strange object in an area that's not supposed to be, you don't need more than one person to check it out, right? <laughs> I'm gonna help him out. How? By standing there and looking? There's nothing much inside that suspicious object. So he won't be gone long. All right. And now's our chance to talk to Namatame. Sup, Namatame. Namatame-san. There's something we'd like to ask you. It's tempting to think that you were the culprit behind this entire case. Very tempting. Especially the night before. And to be honest, there are many in this town who hope you are. But we are here to learn the truth. So please, answer our questions. Huh? It seems that he understands what you're saying. What would you ask him? Who the hell did you throw in first? Huh? Me? Mmm. Mmm? What the hell was that, Yukiko? <laughs> what the hell was that reaction? She said, mmm. They were killed. I couldn't save them. What should you ask him? Is saving people killing them? I like to bring attention to whatever the fuck she is wearing on her feet. No. If nobody saves them, they'll be killed. That's why I put them in there. Then tell me if my estimation is correct so far. After discovering the Yamano and Konishi incidents, you realized an appearance on the Midnight <laughs> Channel meant <laughs> you to save just goes, mm. <laughs> Thus to save her from that fate, you kidnapped Yukiko Amagi. Namatame, what I'm wondering is how did you fit that fat ass through the TV? Hey, I'll be here all night, folks. You couldn't let her be killed, so you threw her into the TV, preventing the killer in this world from reaching her. And you repeated the process as more individuals appeared on the Midnight Channel. It all falls into place. His body is weak, but his mind is sound. He's trying to tell us the truth. Yeah, but if the stuff he's saying is true... There's another killer who murdered the first two victims? Indulge us in a few more questions. What should you ask him? Why'd you send me the warning letters? What the hell is that about? What are you talking about? What should you ask him? Why did you enter the TV? I didn't know. I never thought it would be that kind of place. What should you ask him? Who killed the first two? I have no idea. I want to know that too. As I thought. You believe me? Well, the evidence points to it. Did they find him? Did they find the one who did such cruel things? Mayumi. Please calm down. Our ability to find the culprit rests on you. We know about the other world. In fact, we're the only ones who can fully understand what you have to say. Only you? Only me. We did blame you for everything at first. But now I think we can accept whatever you got to tell us as truth. Yeah, Yosuke. As he says with bloodlust in his eyes. Please, tell us everything you can, calmly and slowly. You're willing to listen? Do my story? <laughs> it 
and then it just starts off like Final Fantasy X. This is my story. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stream Final Fantasy X one day. I'm not looking forward to it. It's a good game, but God damn it. Soon after my affair with Mayumi became common knowledge, I returned to my parents' home as if to run away from the scandal. And I started drinking heavily to drown my anxieties. I hadn't been able to reach Mayumi at all, and that didn't help either. Mayumi, where are you? She'd been disgraced on all the afternoon shows and forced to resign from the program she was on. I caused her so much trouble. I wanted to at least apologize to her, but I couldn't even do that. I lost the will and energy to do anything. Then, one day, the rumor I heard some time ago came back to me. Squish is back. Hey Squish, how's it going? Since I had nothing better to do, I sat down blankly in front of the TV and watched my own reflection. And all of a sudden, there was Mayumi. I don't think I can stare at my own reflection without getting some sort of anxiety. Mayumi? Is that you? The Mayumi inside the TV looked as if she was calling to me for help. I expect my reflection to start like staring at me and start smiling. <laughs> Mayumi? When I reached out unthinkingly to touch her. You should try it sometimes. Go into a mirror, just stare at yourself in the eyes. Stare at yourself for like a good while, you're gonna start fucking feeling weird. My arm disappeared into the TV, as if I had dipped it into a pool of water. I was so shocked that I lost my balance and nearly fell face first into the TV. I was so scared. I couldn't understand what just happened. I thought maybe I'd gone insane. Imagine what moving would be like if you were a Persona user in Persona 4, right? Oh, hey, man, help me move this TV out. Oh, okay. Oh, be careful. It's pretty big. It's pretty heavy. Oh, oh no. Oh. And then it falls. And you, you, you just go inside the TV. In the end, I decided to think of it as just a dream. And I went back to the city the next day after finishing work. <laughs> and then your friends who were helping me move go like, Hey, where did, uh, where did Ted go? He was moving the TV. Ted? <laughs> the next afternoon when I got to work, I was fired on the spot, as I expected. That wasn't what broke me, though. It was Mayumi being found dead. And not just that, but it had happened in my hometown. Namatame is casting his eyes downward painfully. I was dumbstruck. But later on, I remember the image of Mayumi I'd seen that night. Was it not a dream? Could it really have been an SOS from Mayumi? I hadn't touched another TV because the first time was so terrifying, but... I decided to try it again, and I confirmed that none of it was a dream. So that image... Was it something Mayumi showed me, calling for help? That's how I felt. And eventually, you learned of the Midnight Channel. I remember that when Mayumi was alive, she was chasing a rumor about some bizarre TV program. I'd heard about it before, but I thought it was just an urban legend. But then Mayumi appeared on it, and later turned up dead. The more I thought about it, the harder it became to believe that the two events were unrelated. Soon after that, I came back to Inaba to answer the police's questions. I'd lost my job, and I wanted to know the truth of Mayumi's death for myself. What were the police's questions? They just went like, so where were you? Home, home, hmm, okay. Did you do it? No. I'd say you didn't do it. You sure you didn't do it? No. Damn, got nothing on him. Then, on another rainy night, someone else appeared on the Midnight Channel. It was a girl. She looked like she was calling for help, just like Mayumi. The first thing that came into my mind was, maybe this girl will be the next to die. And that was Saki-senpai. I'd been following all the news about Mayumi, so I noticed right away that she was the girl who found Mayumi's body. I mean, can you miss how big that forehead was? I saw that shit from all the way down the block. And if my hunch was right, 
she'd be the next victim. I didn't want her to die the way Mayumi did, so I desperately kept watching. I was consumed with the idea of rescuing her. Then, little by little, her image on the screen came into sharper focus. It became sharper? <sighs> How did you find out it was her? After I came back, my father couldn't bear to see me in such low spirits, and gave me a job with the family business. I met that girl when I delivered a package to the liquor store. After agonizing over it, I decided to meet her, and told her to be careful. But that same night, on the TV... She looked as if she was being engulfed by some black shape. She was writhing in pain. That's why I warned her. Why won't she pick up the phone? Come on, please! Why won't she pick up the phone? Cause she's dying. The day, <laughs> they found her dead. Dude, I was watching her like being murdered and attack and I was like, why won't you pick up the phone? <laughs> I knew she was gonna be murdered, but I couldn't save her. I blame myself. Thinking there must have been something I could have done. There was no one who depended on me. Nobody at work. Not even my wife. Mayumi was the only one who accepted me for who I was. But she was murdered. And the same person killed another girl. I was... I was beside myself. I couldn't forgive myself for doing nothing. You really did love Miss Yamano. Yes. From the bottom of my heart. Before I was married, my wife made it big in show business. I was happy for her, but it put a strain on our relationship. Take notes, Rize. I think I can kind of relate. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't remember she actually commented on that. It was around that time when I met Mayumi. She was interviewing our candidate for the next election. She was a big name announcer. But she only worked with local stations, and her attitude towards work was similar to mine. We both came from Inaba, so she was easy to talk to. I knew it was wrong, but I couldn't help getting intimate with her. She gave meaning to my life. He said I knew it was wrong, but that booty was just too fine. Soon after Saki-san was found dead, yet another girl appeared on TV. That was you. She'll be kidnapped next. And murdered. I can't let her end up like Mayumi and that other girl. This time, I'm gonna do something. My opponent was a murderer who left no clues to his identity. I thought hard about what I could do to protect her from someone like that. I'll never convince her. If she gets suspicious and they arrest me, who'll save her then? The girl inside the TV looked as if she was smiling at me. And that's when it hit me. I apparently had the power to go through the TV screen to the other side. Then, what if I put her into the TV and give her shelter there before the killer gets her? What are you trying to tell me? That it's safe over there, is that it? The girl inside the TV seemed to smile at me again. And I thought, no matter what kind of place it might be, it's better than being slaughtered. So I didn't check for myself, but hey, I thought about it. Once things calmed down, I could just let her out again. If she's inside the TV, there's no way they can find her. It felt as if everything was starting to come together in my mind. Could it be that Mayumi gave me that power to prevent any more victims from meeting her fate? Was it my mission to save people? But there was a big problem. If I explained the situation to the victim, they wouldn't understand. I had already tried that and failed miserably. It seemed the only thing I could do was to take them away. If that was my mission, I'd just have to do it. Or so I thought. 
Mayumi, please lend me your strength. Namatami about to go Super Saiyan. So, since you thought people who appeared on the Midnight Channel would be killed, you kidnapped us in order to save us. Mission? Give me a break! You never stopped and wondered about any of this? Shit. My ears. I thought I was the only one who could help them. I did call the police, but they didn't believe me. I knew the area well, thanks to my job. I had a large truck, and I could move around without suspicion. I thought my job as a delivery man would be the perfect cover for my mission. I thought no one else could do it. But... Are you telling me that I wasn't saving them? Hey, listen, I've been saying it for years. The mailman is the true hero of the American people. If a person is still within the TV world when the fog appears here, they will die. Beginning with Yukiko-san, the people you thought you had been saving were, in fact, in mortal peril. It was my friends here who really saved us all. I had a feeling that was it. When I went after that little girl and entered the TV myself, for the first time, I had some doubts about myself. You refer to Nanakarchan, correct? The police were after me, so I had to get away. But I still felt I needed to do everything I could to save that poor little girl. That's why I went in after her. But the TV world was completely different than I imagined. Such an abominable, grotesque place. I knew that the three of you who I saved went back to your normal lives, so I didn't realize how terrible that world was. I never knew you couldn't even get out of that place on your own. No, that's a cowardly way to put it. I'd probably already begun to realize that it was a dangerous place. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have gone to see you all. See us? Wait, are you talking about the concert we did at Juness? Yes. I wanted to know why the ones I saved were all hanging out with each other, and how much you remembered. But in the end, I couldn't bring myself to say anything and ran home. I must have felt too guilty. Damn, Namatame, you could have fucking... Damn it! <laughs> you could have just put an end to it. <laughs> But all the doubts and anxieties I'd been unconsciously suppressing exploded out when I entered the television myself. I thought I was going insane. I probably did. And you know the rest. When I came to, I was lying in a hospital bed. You really were trying to save people. But I ended up doing just the opposite. <sighs> what a fool. I always wanted to enter the world of politics and become useful to society. But after losing my job and the woman I loved, all I had left was this power. I convinced myself that world was some sort of sanctuary, and I secretly believed myself to be a hero. Damn, Yosuke, hitting some buttons, huh? I never doubted what I saw on TV and believed everything was as I wanted it to be. I didn't think for myself at all. That's why I couldn't protect them. I'm to blame for all of this. Listen, Namatame. I'm gonna tell you what I tell everybody in this moment of need. It is what it is. I suppose so. But the things I've done are too serious to be brushed aside like that. I have no intentions of running away from my crimes. I'm prepared to face the consequences. Kidnapping is already a serious crime. And on top of that, I put all those lives in danger. I'm sorry. The Midnight Channel and the Other World? You can hardly be blamed for failing to understand them properly. We must apologize to you as well. Had we let our emotions blind us to the truth, we would have piled all the responsibility on you. I guess from your point of view, people did stop dying once you started saving people. The more you did it, the more you really believed you were preventing their deaths. I'm 
such a joke. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little tired. What, what are you all crammed in here for? My apologies. We'll be leaving now. Wait. I beg you, please, find whoever's behind this. You children are the only ones who know about that world. That's my plan. It's all clear now. He never committed any murders. It was another party who threw the first two victims into the TV. You take another step towards the truth. The Secrets of Truth has reached level 3. Now get out of here! I told you, he's almost ready to be transported. We can't have anything else happen. Sheesh, I better not see you rascals here again. Nanako-chan looks like she's in pain. She's fighting for dear life. This was the last place we saw Teddy, right? He was so worried about her. How can he flake out like this when we have to find the real killer? The police consider the matter closed. We'll have to do all the investigation from here on out. Let's revisit Saki-san and Miss Yamano's incidents and see if we can turn up fresh details. But it's been over six months. Wouldn't the trail be cold by now? I know, but we can't give up. We're the only ones who understand what's really going on. And you never know. People might remember some things now because they've had so much time to think about it. Let's split up and talk to people all over town tomorrow. We'll meet up in the evening to discuss our findings. I hope we can find out something about Teddy, too. All right. Tomorrow, you all are going to go out to talk to people in the town. Will this finally help uncover the information that will lead you to the true culprit? You decided to go home early today and get some rest. I decided it, not some fucking cat leeching off of me. Alright. <clears throat> that was a lot of story. A lot. Let me see. Alright, so. I think this is a good stopping point. I just checked the time real quick. And, yeah, it's about the time for me to end the stream, which is fine, you know. I think what I'm going to do uh, in between the stream is I'll probably grind a little bit so so we don't have a repeat of, uh, <laughs> of the uh, Nanako dungeon. Of the Heaven dungeon. It's been way too long on that, right? And, I mean, at the rate we're going, I'd probably say maybe... Maybe two more stream, mm, three, three or four more streams, and we should be done with this game, right? So that's pretty fun. After that, we're gonna, I'm gonna go back to Ace Attorney, uh, the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, so we can finish that. I think we have, I think we were in the, we were starting the trial for case three, and then after that, there's just two more chapters. So I'm not sure how long that's gonna take. Usually, each chapter takes about like two streams, maybe, because chapters kept getting longer and longer I don't know I don't know but anyways in the meantime later today I'm gonna be uploading stuff on YouTube the YouTube channel is right there I've been uh, recording I've been recording more of Pokemon and making sure I finish the playthrough for Nightmare Before Christmas and then after that I'm probably just gonna upload a bunch of streams that I have uh, that I have just sitting around on my hard drive and shit so you know some uh, streams are gonna go up there some of them from like a year ago. I think Conception was a year ago, so. <laughs> so it's gonna seem a little weird when that gets uploaded, but just keep in mind that that, that was streamed a while ago, right? That and uh, as I was going through things, I totally, I don't know what the fuck happened like around the new year, but totally forgot that uh, gotta finish playing Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I think I took like a break or something and then I just forgot about it. So it's a bunch of things, a bunch of things we got to go back and finish. So 
I think that's the plan for now. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Might finish it on YouTube. Might, might just stream it again when I have free time. But who knows? Until then, that's pretty much the plan. If you want to follow me on uh, Twitter, it's right there. I mean, I post things from time to time. I really don't. It's nothing important, really, though. I think the most important thing that I post up there is um, whenever I go live and stuff. So if you don't get the notification from Twitch, you know, there's that. Uh, I post like around five minutes before I go live as like a heads up. For Twitch, if you want to follow me, you can do that. It'll help out a lot. Uh, if you want to sub to me, I recommend not to do it. <laughs> not until I'm like, not until I have more time to stream to make it worth it. So, you know, there's that. And then YouTube, whatever, you know the deal, sub, notification bell, whatever. If you like what you see, click the like button. It's whatever, you know, whatever. Um, that's pretty much it. I think that's everything I have to say for now. So, next time we play Persona 4, if it's not sometime earlier this week, it will definitely be the scheduled time on the Twitch schedule. So, you know, what is it, like Monday, Tuesday? Something like that. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much the plan for now. Right now, the main thing on... YouTube is the Pokemon Marathon. Gonna finish doing Pokemon Red and Blue. And then after that, gonna move on to the other Pokemon games and stuff like that. Gonna be doing that until uh, we go to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet now. Jesus fuck, I just remembered that those two existed. So that's gonna be fun. There's a lot of Pokemon. A lot of goddamn Pokemon. God damn it. God damn it. I really didn't think this through. But there's that. And that's everything I really got to say. So. For everyone who came and watched live, thank you very much. It's fun talking to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the stream as much as I did playing it and stuff like that. And hopefully I can see you guys next time. But until then, once again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. Take off.